How you doing, folks? Uh, give me feedback on the audio, by the way, tonight, and I'll explain in a bit. <laughs> it's been a long week. Sorry, just finalizing a few things here. When you say audio is a bit loud, do you mean me? I will deal with that in one second. Oh my god, hello everybody. Uh, lovely to see you. Uh, it's been a hell of a week. Sounds good so far? Yeah, so, so you see, <laughs> here's the deal. Oh boy, do I have a story. First of all, it's been a hell of a week. Let's, let's start with that. Um, oh boy, um... <laughs> okay so personal stuff aside right i'm uh do you do you, do you guys remember when we were playing uh foregone i think it was called foregone it's like it's like dead cells but with a lady pr protagonist great game so Somebody in chat told me that the 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 playback, right, the the feed, the stream was stuttering. And I looked at the preview in OBS because that's much. I don't always focus on it, but I do notice usually when things are you know majorly out of place. And uh, and it yeah, it 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 was stuttering every two to three seconds. It would hitch for like a fraction of a second, right? And I'm like, well, that's not good. Um, so I start investigating. And that was the start of my problems. So I'm looking at everything. I do a little bit of research. Um, one of the first things I noticed was that my monitors, both of them, weren't like a flat number. Usually it's 6120, or in the case of my, uh, my art screen here, it's 75, right? It was like... Uh, 59.9 something and 119.9 something, whatever. Uh, and this one was 70 something. And, and I'm thinking, oh, that's weird, right? Like it's a brand new monitor. And, and I know this means absolutely nothing in the scheme of things now. Needless to say, I got carried away uh, looking for a solution. So I <laughs> updated everything. We're talking monitor firmware we're talking uh windows updates nvidia updates firmware updates for every single device attached to my machine nothing would fix it and i'm thinking shit what do i do so i thought okay i didn't really want to have to do this netrunner thank you very much i didn't really want to have to do this but 
I'm going to reformat my computer. It hasn't been done in like 18 months. And I'm thinking now's a good time. Might as well. I'll be down for a couple of days. No big deal, right? Oh, Jesus. Okay. So first of all, I run a solo streaming machine. Um, but I made sure to back everything up, right? So I had all my OBS profiles, all my OBS settings, um, every last detail I had backed up. Uh, clearly my microphone sounds a little bit different. That's why I'm, I'm very open to feedback tonight about, you know, sounds and whatnot. I reinstall everything. It takes me at this stage between research and reinstalling we're, we're at about 20 hours already right the issue is still there now i've lost it now i'm now i'm so pissed off i i i i couldn't handle it right so i go to reddit i post two reddit threads in huge detail i go to discord both obs and um no i think i just went to obs on that one and it's it's sort of volunteer support on on the OBS uh, Discord. So I, the feedback, like the the responses I got there, weren't really that helpful. But I did notice other people posting the logs from OBS. Didn't even occur to me. Let's check the logs of OBS, right? So I go in there and I found one line of text. Let me see if I can actually find it. What the hell was that? Um. It was one specific string. It's like uh, dropped frames due to something, right? So I looked up that that specific that thing. Drake, thank you very much. Welcome back. Um, and I found an article, a very in-depth article, which I think I might actually post in my Discord or something because it's very useful. Now it said that um, if you're experiencing this particular issue, chances are that your CPU is not able to, to keep up. doesn't make any sense. I have the most powerful consumer CPU on the market today. It can't be that, right? And then I read a bit further down and it said, if it's still occurring, chances are it could be a rogue OBS source causing the problem. I'm thinking, what? That doesn't make any sense unless it's a hardware source in my brain, right? So I'm like, okay, it started around the time I was playing Forgone and I, I add them sort of sequentially because I capture uh, games individually so that, you know, nothing untowards, you know, personal information, whatever doesn't get displayed on, on screen. So I'm going through there and I'm starting to remove them and it's still there, still there. And I'm testing with Nova Drift, by the way, which was a problem previously. Nova Drift caused my stream to crash previously. Still there, still there. Nova just a really good game to test because it's very, it's very sharp and it, it's it's very fast. Like the refresh rate's very high, so it's very easy to see. Um, still there. So then it says create a new scene collection, and then start adding the programs back in. So I did that. Blank scene completely added. Nova Drift, completely fine. My mouth was on the floor. I was like, what? So then I went back to my previous scene collection, removed everything from there, from, from the, like my game's capture source, right? Added in a few more things. And I thought maybe it's the PS5's capture card. Maybe that was causing it. Add that back in, still nothing. So I don't know what was actually the cause, but it's been fixed. And it took me three days and a lot of, a lot of headache, but we got there in the end. And um, <laughs> hey, it's Friday. <laughs> Hell of a week. Hell of a week. Um, so it's great to have you here. Uh, and it's good to see you folks. Um, yeah. Your webcam causing you to drop frames. It didn't even occur to me. But that's the thing, right? Your smooth brain still learning OBS. It's, it's a very powerful program. You can do so, so much with it, especially with plugins. Um, but it's also very easy to go very, very wrong with it. Um, Catseed, thank you very much. Thank you. That's very kind. 
Uh, yeah, so here, here we are. <laughs> Hopefully tonight's gameplay will be a, a very, very smooth experience. If you're just joining us, um, uh, Evolve PR reached out and they said, hey, would you like to try uh, Children of Morta's new update before it's available to the public? Completely different game mode, right? Um, I really like Children of Morta, so I said yes, absolutely. Uh, and apparently this is a true roguelite experience. We'll see what their definition of roguelite is, but... Well, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Issues with your voiceover track. When you were editing videos recorded with OBS, turns out you left the monitor on and overlapped the audio. Yep. I've, I've been there. That was one of the first things I did when I started streaming. <laughs> Um, in addition to that, I'm giving away three copies of the game. We'll use the Beard of Fortune to select a winner, um, and we'll do that three times throughout the night. We'll do a couple of runs and then give away a copy. You know, you know how it works. Um, have I ever played Project Zomboid? Actually, I've been watching a few people play it. Um, I watched... <laughs> Because I couldn't sleep, at 4 o'clock this morning, I was watching... 4 o'clock? 6 o'clock? It was early. Um, I was watching Pagrax play it, and then today I was watching uh, Billy One Kirby play it. What's the beard of fortune? <laughs> Hang out and find out. Trust me, you'll love it. It's great. Um, that's It's one of those games. Remember, remember how I was talking about games that give me anxiety and not because it's zombies i love i love that i love kind of the, like the little jump scares and stuff when you walked around the corners and stuff there's too much micro in it for me to enjoy it um it's a real it, like it is survival heavy and i mean survival heavy like it, you gotta find cans of food and you've got to learn how to pickle tomatoes whatever right like it's it's a huge game. It's very deep, and a lot of the mechanics um, you need to be very cognizant of at all times. Um, and for that reason, I would probably stay clear of it. Southern Pretzel, thank you very much for the bits. Oh, we have a hype train going. Thank you. That's amazing. You guys rock. Um, now, if Project Zomboid was an action roguelike, I'd be all over it. Because, because, like I said, I like the, uh... <laughs> he's never won. Rigged, yes. Uh, hashtag rigged is the, is the common trope there. During Neon Abyss? Yeah, we used to use it for um, picking a direction in Neon Abyss, I believe. Turns out it's really great for doing giveaways too. All right, let's jump over, folks. Let's see what this is all about. So it's a completely separate story and apparently in order to um sorry a completely separate game mode and in order to access it all you need to do is meet not even kill the first boss you, like story story wise you have to get up to a certain point i guess so that you know the game mechanics i don't know their reason for that uh what's new family trials family trials mode is completely separate from the main story campaign of the game it revolves around Ziklus, Cyclus, a unique and abnormal dungeon located somewhere in Rhea. Family Trials offers new systems, items, characters, builds, possibilities, and more, all set in a series of completely randomized levels. It is also quite challenging. Uh-oh. Most of the progress is lost when you die in the dungeon, so you better prepare to quickly learn from your mistakes. All playable characters and their active abilities are unlocked from the start. All home upgrades and the Progress made by a character's skills are disabled, okay? Skill tree is replaced with a new talent system. Each time players level up, they get to choose a random talent. Morv is of no value in the family trials. Gem shards can be found in this mode instead. So they took the money resource out. It The, the, the data may not even be related to the current save file anyway. Um... Player runes are no longer dropped and are embodied in the new talent system. New divine relics and divine graces are introduced. All divine items now have a stronger second and a much more divine third tier. To pass the family trials... Is it trials or trails? 
No, that definitely says trails, but it's not. It's trials. You must reach the last floor and defeat the final boss. That makes sense. In order to go to the next floor, you must complete its main objective. So from their wording there, this sounds more like a rogue-like mode since Children of Morta is a rogue-lite. Um, there, there could be a little bit of language uh, barrier there just due to the fact that um, I think the developer is... Uh, is it Polish? Not sure. Netrunner, thank you very much. 9x as well. You guys are amazing. Thank you very much for the for the bits. Whoa, settle down. All right. Here we go. Back into the mines. I cannot select any of the family books. And how's that? How's that playing? Are we getting a little bit of screen tearing there? V-Sync's on. Might not matter with this monitor, actually. It's okay. We'll make do. Uh, all right. Zickless it is. Here we go. Hundred total is needed for the emote. Oh, you're talking about unlocking the, the emotes for... Um, for the hype train. I still don't know how that works. Apan. I don't even think I've met Apan in my, my normal game. As for Thunderclap. Focuses the energy around her and releases it at enemies to push back. Slow damage them. Guardian's Rage. Protective Manor. Shield. Okay. Is Lucy the, the bow person or is she the... No, she's the mage, right? Linda's the... Yeah, they, I like Linda and Lucy the most. Kevin, you're such a disappointment to the family. It's I wish you stayed home on this one. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, we'll take Lucy down. Um, yeah. All right, this looks fine. We're doing normal. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Pretzel, thank you very much. Goodness me, did these just come through? Did I miss some? Drake got you, Catseed? No, I think I think I got you guys. All right. So Lucy can't shoot while moving. As she stands and shoots, her attacks speed up and sidewinders begin. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Space to continue. You have unlocked Guardian's Rage. Primary attacks now feel your Rage meter. When fully charged, you can activate Guardian's Rage by pressing Control. Yeah, she's the mage. She rocks. Absolutely. Best character in the game. This is the Zyklus, Zyklus Cyclus Offerings Chamber. Each offering requires certain progress to be unlocked. Once the progress is made, that offering becomes permanently available. However, you must only choose one of the offerings from each chamber. Choose wisely. All right, so what do we need? Oh, okay. Bloodstone, kill 200. Ferocious enemies. That might be a, a very specific type of enemy there. Game volume could be higher. Say no more, say no more. How's that now? Can you hear that? Too loud? Yeah. Yeah, accepting all feedback on everything to do with the stream right now because uh, I had to... Uh... Oh, I've got something to do. Complete the main objective before... Oh, jeez. Now I'm stressed. There's a time limit. God damn it! Gem shards. Okay, well, we'll worry about that after we've unlocked something. All right, so I guess we're coming back here. I'll spin the doobly-doo. Don't know what that does either. All right. So we're going in. Oh, 
Oh, she's awesome. No, not the snakes, though. I have a certain affinity for snakes. Uh, if that wasn't blatantly obvious. It's alright, we'll take it. We'll take a little bit of we'll tank a little bit. So it looks like there's a bunch of different enemies all mixed in together here. Yeah, I think this is a rogue like experience, not vice versa. I think didn't undermine do something very similar? It's not a bad game to emulate, honestly. Still can't believe Kevin came along. Talent point. Oh, okay. Health globes heal more. Decreases Lucy's decoy cooldown. Cyclones cost less mana. Take the heal on this one. Uh, hello? Oh. Talents persist throughout the run. Learn talents can be viewed at any time. Pressing tab. There is definitely a lot of enemies around, though. Like the... What's the word? The um, concentration of enemies pretty high. Ow. Lightbringer. Unlock the doors. Requires a gemstone. Children of Noita. Yeah, more or less. I am kind of excited about Noita's latest update. Haven't played it myself yet. Um... But I think I will. And uh, maybe even try side objective fail. Ah, okay. Well, it was a side objective, not a main one. Complete the main objective before the timer runs out. Warrior needs food. Gauntlet was an amazing game. Didn't... Didn't John Romero join a team that remade that? I could have sworn that was one of his projects. I can't remember the company name. Was it Midway? The real objectives, the friends you make along the way. Love it. Brownick, thank you very much. Six months tier two support, you absolute legend. Oh, is that a corpse there? Yeah. Hey, what is that? Relic, charm. Charms are magical objects found in the land of Morta. Each one of them has a special effect that they can be activated by pressing R. They're consumed after being activated. You can only carry one charm with you before activating its effect. Okay. Uh, I should have actually looked at what that was before I picked it up. It's okay. It's activated anyway when we meet something strong. I wonder if you can use the same characters over and over again in this on subsequent runs instead of like, um, instead of like, uh, in the main game where they get fatigued if you use them too many times, you have to sort of spread them out. Clear the rooms from enemies to unlock doors. Right. Did it rerolled something? Relic slot machines. Reroll all divine graces. Oh. Well. 
divine graces we do not have. That's like uh, divine graces are permanent uh, passive upgrades. Oh, I have a decoy. That's right, I forgot. Actually, I might not have even seen that before. Might come in handy during the boss fight, perhaps. Oh, big bad. Hell yeah. Ow. Alright, so we just got a gemstone. That's dope. Choose a talent. Durable decoys. Decoys last longer before disappearing. Critical roll increases critical damage. Uh, durable cyclones last longer before disappearing. Let's take critical damage here. Alright, so we've got to kill everything first. Actually, I don't even know if it's everything or just most of... What's up? Archeris, good to see you. Arch Archeris. Level cleared. Alright, maybe just we have to reveal most of it, perhaps? We certainly didn't kill everything. So wait, do I want to go... Do I want to go through here or do I want to backtrack? This may take me back. Let's let's see. Uh, hello? It did not take me back. Um, okay. <laughs> I wonder if we'll be seeing that room ever again. <laughs> Is that a ferocious enemy? That is a ferocious enemy and it is dead. So they're fully maxed out, except I guess all of the passive upgrades that you would find in the primary game are gone. But most of those have to do with, well, a little bit of everything, right? Income, health, damage, etc. She's so great. <laughs> Easily the best character in the game. <laughs> um, I briefly played the game uh, when one of the latest updates came out. And it introduced uh, like animals you could unlock. I don't know how that works. I, I should, probably, should probably get back into the game sooner or later. It's been a while since I played. All right, Linda's decoy crescendo. Linda launches an explosive crescendo when decoy health is reduced by 50%. Okay, spirit couple. Successfully pri successful primary attacks build up more rage, allowing Lucy to enter guardian rage sooner. And then rocket barrage. Primary attacks explode on... Well, hello. Animals were paid DLC. I think so. Yes. Come on, explosive attacks, please. Rage regenerates at a faster rate, sure. Um, I can actually use my rage now. Freaking badass! Oh my god. 
She's literally vision right now. Okay. <laughs> we'll be saving that um, for enemies a little bit more difficult, I think. All right, one more enemy to go, and then we're on to the next task. So I wonder if these toast, these tasks that we're getting, if each one of those is a pillar back at the start. And then we go back there eventually, or how we get back there, I don't know. Kind of excited to find out, actually. Explosive shots is ridiculously good. So many games, so little time. I couldn't agree more. I'm looking through my Steam library. And like, I there's so many I want to play. I need to find a new main game though. A new... I don't know. Something that can be... A new signature game. I don't want to be the Noita guy anymore. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Darkwood. Describe Darkwood. There's a, there's a couple that I'm looking at. There's um, a buddy of mine sent me... He works for um, a company make, making this game. It's like a Diablo-style game. It's quite good. Uh, it's in early access. Um, and that looks like something really fun. But then if I get too carried away with that, Diablo 2 remake is going to be coming out soon. Too, so, too many. Too many games. Is it worth continuously clearing, I wonder? Yeah, we still build both rage and, I guess, experience, right? Why not? Top-down survival horror. Oh, right on. Extra ward. Protective ward has an extra orb protecting Lucy. What is protective ward? Have we seen that yet? Stronger sidewinders. Give increased damage. Decrease Lucy's decoy cooldowns. Pfft, please. The best defense is more and more bigger numbers. You have at least half a dozen games you've gotten for free from Epic over the last year that you haven't even looked at? <laughs> Hi. Yep, I'm in the same boat. <laughs> Okay, so that does use gems still, but it gives us plenty of cash to spend somewhere. Uh, I think that's about it for the floor. Destroy corrupted altars. Okay, I think I can handle that. Demetrodon, thank you very much for the bits, my friend. Thank you. You're from the Noita gang? <laughs> Azito, hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I will, I will always have a fondness for that game, and I will always have an audience, apparently, for that game as well. What's not to like? Noita is... Uh, Kind of amazing. What's the um what's the reception to the game's primary, like the main branch update been? Because a lot of that stuff was experimental and weird, even for someone with as much experience as I've had. Um like I miss the vanilla vanilla noita from like <laughs> mid 2020. <laughs> Oh god, is this like a mini boss or what? Reach the target kill counter. Oh god. It's gonna be like that, okay.
I wonder if you have to do something different for each one. Oh, this is not easy. Shit. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Uh-oh. Don't lose it. Not good. No! Ah! Vision, please. You're like three seconds too late. Oh, God. Okay, this is going well. I hate those guys. They seem to have a penchant for dodging me. Got it. Understood. I am dead. Wow. Okay. The main branch doesn't have as many, as much things as beta, even with the update. Oh, interesting. Okay. So maybe they were quite selective with what they brought over. Uh, 15 minute run. Uh, gem shards gathered. Enemies killed, 285. Seven ferocious enemies. Bosses killed, zero. Points healed. Main objectives completed. Side objectives completed. Uh, character stats. Learn talents. Rip rocket barrage. Okay. Divine offering. Defeat five bosses. Oh, so this is, this is interesting. So this is an overall progress to make as well, maybe? Finish this game mode three times, yeah. Maybe more like, maybe more like achievements for this. All right, Bergson family, who's next? Kevin? No, not Kevin. Zikless offerings. These are the Zif Zikless, Zikless? Offerings. These offerings became available as you make certain progress throughout. They will enhance your runs with a starting boost. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Downwell. Downwell is dope. I played Downwell on mobile. I was I was obsessed with that game way back. Oh no, it is it is the same things. So we have to work towards them. Dang, okay. So we can take Lucy again, but I think I'd like to take Linda. Using her bow, Linda takes out her enemies from a distance. You can use the left mouse button to aim and shoot at the same time. She uses stamina to shoot whilst moving. Her stamina regenerates. Yes, I, I like Linda a lot. She's one of my favorites. All right, so just ferocious enemies this time. Do I have a time limit this time? I don't. But I've still... Ah, okay. So my side mission now is to reach a 30 kill counter, which is not easy to do. Oh, hello, hello. It'll take me a while to get used to Linda again. Fire shots or explosive shots here would be dope as well. She's kind of epic for this kind of... She's got great crowd control abilities. Oh, okay. So this is, this is where we do the unlocking of the, the thing, right? Yes. Right, this is where all of your little upgrades are, are kept. Finish family trials mode with every character. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't take me a while. <laughs> I don't know what the spinny thing does, but I love it. I 
I like her secondary ability. It's kind of dope. It looks like she has a charm as well. Very bard-esque. Thirty kills in a row, jeez, that's probably not gonna be easy. Let's go! Guardians of Light decreases damage received from dark enemies. Okay, quick crescendo. Explosive crescendo has a shorter cooldown time. Mighty crescendo. Increased damage. Hmm. Let's go shorter cooldown time on Crescendo. Kill counter, you have to actually kill things? Or is it just hitting them? Does hitting them maintain that? That I'm curious about. What was the game I played recently? Curse of the Dead Gods. You could just hit an enemy and your sort of combo counter would maintain itself. Uh, whereas here I think it's actually actually kills that do it. Could be wrong. Hitting maintains? Oh, dope. Mm. Within a very short period of time, huh? I've had some really good runs with Linda. I'm talking main game, of course, but... Yeah. And this, this game has one of my favorite uh, things going on for it in the upgrade selection when you get back to the Bergson home. Um, I love upgrades that let you focus on income so you earn more, you know, currency of, of whatever kind. It's so dope. Decreases the stamina Linda must consume whilst moving and shooting. Increases the duration she can perform. Increases dodge chance. Yep. Victim of impatience. Thank you very much for your sub. Welcome to the channel. You could have waited a little bit to subscribe. But it's alright. I understand your plight. See, it was a joke. It was playing your name. Obelisks. They remind me of the, uh, the little t shrines in Diablo. God, that was such a good game. That's my, that's my childhood right there. Well, D2 was my <laughs> late teens, but still. <laughs> still one of my favorite games of all time. I hope I'm, I hope I'm doing the right thing by trading gems for cash. Maybe I should be saving the gems. Uh, like here's the only place I haven't been, huh? Is this game better on mouse and keyboard? So funny story, I thought it was controller, but I tried to get my controller up and running and it did not work. Have I, is it one of those Berenstain Bear deals where it's only ever been mouse and keyboard? And not controller at all, but I could have sworn it was controller at one stage. I don't know. With the clean setup on, on Windows, like it's a fresh install, so 
Probably something to do with my PS5 driver. Something, I don't know. Controller driver. You do use a controller? Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I don't know. I don't know which is better then. I would have to try both. What are you? Divine Relic. Become temporarily invisible. Can I get a hell yeah up in here? Sorry, Divine Relics are active items. I forgot. I forgot. Use an Xbox One? Yeah, I've had a lot of problems with uh, controller, getting getting my PS5 controller specifically. Even PS4 had a problem. Something to do with um, X input. I, I don't know the techniques behind it. But it certainly doesn't like that controller very much. Clear the rooms from enemies to unlock. Okay, so this is just clearing. No sweat. It's those damn portals that where we have to get 30 kills in a row. That's that's the challenge right there. It does have aim assist as well, right? So controller is kind of pretty good with it. Ow. Kevin's harmonic watch. Kevin emerges to execute shadow dance during a harmonic slam. <laughs> I bet you do, Kevin. Go home. <laughs> Just stay there. I hate you. <laughs> Mighty touch. Primary attack will knock back enemies. Uh, yeah. Venom kiss. Primary attack poisons enemies, damaging them over time and reducing their attack power. Oh, I've never been so torn in my life. Uses a program to make PS4 controller work. You shouldn't need it now. Steam has really good drivers built in, but this might be one of the ones that I needed that for. I'm thinking Venom. Anything with poison. Damage over time so dope. Uh, knockback would also be incredible, but... It's poison. I'm a poison fiend. Oh, it's strong too. Yeah, okay. Come on, can we get... Nah. So, the window to get that combo is so small. I've had 50 plus, maybe even over 100 in the main game, but that's with it, like a ton of passive upgrades. So maybe this is... Maybe this is something where we need a few upgrades first before we're going to be uh, as effective. So give me one sec. I'm going to actually... Um, oh, we got our rage built up. I'm going to turn off V-Sync. And let me know if you see tearing on the screen on your end, because then I'll turn it back on otherwise, because I'm getting it quite bad over here. Nope, that's even worse. Oh well, at least the stream looks good. That's the main thing. Nope. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I bought The Binding of Isaac Repentance. I know I said I wasn't going to play it, but kind of glad I did because it's they've done a good job with it. Um, yeah, really good, in fact. So I may, I may stream that a little bit. We'll see. This one's probably one where my monitor's running at 120 and it's the game trying to keep up. Probably don't even need to be more than a... 
more than 60 when I'm streaming anyway. You had a lot, a lot of fun playing this with your brother back in the day? Why didn't I want to play it? So here's the deal. When Binding of Isaac, I was huge into it. Um, I Platinum God uh, on af Afterbirth? What's the game called? Rebirth. Um, and that's where, my, that's where my save file is currently sitting. Uh, so I've still got my save file, which is dope, but it's... <laughs> I've hardly done a damn thing since then. Wait, what? Oh, you've got a timer on it. Wait, 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 wait. So we're on floor two now. Okay. Okay, my bad. I didn't even... I thought we were just continuing on. I'd obviously completed the previous floor and came... I'm obviously paying a lot of attention here. This is good. Anyway, um, so when all of the, what do they call them, booster packs came out? The little, the little content packs that came out for free? Um, it introduced a bunch of stuff to the game, and I never really continued playing it. And then I had... It's like the opposite of FOMO, right? It's like, I've missed out, so fuck it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, oh, there's no point in even playing it now since I've already missed so much content. That's, that's what I felt. Oh, what are you? That is a two-star item right there. Deal double damage while your health is below 25. So that's a passive item. Dope. We like that. I'm a huge fan of passive item upgrades. 234 new achievements, right. Most of those are related to items though, so you don't have to worry too much. You will get them eventually. Uh, but there's a few special ones in there as well, I think. Anyway, um, since, since I have to do, you know, a bunch of new content, I might as well catch up at the same time. So now's the perfect time to be playing it, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm excited, and I will probably, I will probably bring it into stream. Will it become my main game? My new, my new Noita? I don't know. You and your dead ends, always with this game. Um, what else? What else? There's something else coming out. The place... Station. Oh, on the free game on PSN, I think next month is Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. It's something Complete Edition, and it's a game that I platinumed back in the day. Um, and I think I think it's Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, so I'm kind of excited to get that. Is is it Horizon? Shit, I don't know. Uh, because I never played the DLCs. Um, so that'd be kind of cool too. Aren't ranged classes in games just the best? Like I know they're, they take a lot less damage before they die, but pretty dope. It's free for everyone, not just PlayStation Plus. Dang, that's awesome. All right. Increases harmonic. Harmink? Harmink? That's a, that's a typo. Slam stun duration. Yeah. Melee attackers become slowed upon hitting Linda. Good luck catching me in the first place. Health globes heal more. Um, I'm obviously not using uh, harmonic slam at all. What the hell? Oh, it was a trap. Oh, Venom Coating. Poisons damaged enemies. Poison damages enemies over time, reduces their attack power.
Awesome. Let's see if it works better now, question mark? I don't even know. So done. Reach the portal. But I've got an entire room over here. I'm going to clear first. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, that is the portal. Grand Chase. You would only play an archer in that game. What's Grand Chase? I've never heard of that game. I've, I've played a few games in my time. Cleansing Guardian. Activate the shrine to cleanse the area. Survive enemies, enemy waves. Okay. If I don't have to focus on, like, stacking kills, that won't be too bad. He says. It's an old level up game. What, what do you mean by that? I don't know, man. Poison looks exactly the same. That's a lot of cash. I assume I lose all of the cash when I die. Ah, okay. That's obviously one of them. But we have Obelisk of Force. Oh, I love this. This is perfect. I've beaten many a spider boss with this particular obelisk. Online action platformer beat em up where you had a bunch of different characters and classes. Grand Chase. Huh. Yes! Go, you absolute legend. What is that thing? I don't even know. I don't, wait, I don't have to protect that, do I? Save yourself! Out. Alright, this third stage is like, it hits hard. Oh, super. Side objective failed, piece of cake. Complete the main objective while having half or more of your maximum health points. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is now down to two. No, I've done the main... Then what the hell is this thing? Oh, badass. Okay. It's like a... I... Yep. Trap. All right, we going. Same, same. I'll know for next time. We'll use them more often. Oh, yes. What's up, my people? Gambler. Gamble for an item. Costs one. I have five. Upgrade your divine items. Where's my, where's my items? Uh, Venom coating, 11th hour, deal double damage while your health is below 25%. I wonder if we upgrade that, whether the damage increases or the percentage health increases. Be nice if the percentage health increases, huh? Butcher Sloan, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you.
It's mostly popular in Brazil. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't know if I want to upgrade those. <coughs> Purchase divine items and charms. Could be. Heal your wounds. Yeah, we'll get heals. Don't worry about don't worry about heals. Insta die on the next level. Don't mind me just smashing your worldly possessions. Not feeling too bad about it. It says the damage will increase. Wait, the tooltip told me that? <laughs> Free delivery, spawn a chest, ring of cloaking. Increased damage. So that's the... F that's the that's the the rank two of it is increased damage. We don't know if that's going to go again or whether it's... Well, I don't know. And what takes precedent here? The fact that I've got a talent that increases damage or if this takes... I don't know. I, I just... I just work here. Um, we should definitely use that. Gemstone wrapping drops a gemstone. All right, we are one gemstone up. Let's buy divine item. Oh, you take cash too. Oh, I like this. Charm, gain the effect of a random obelisk. No thanks. Divine grace, protector that provides armor and occasionally negates all incoming damage. Three boulders fall from the sky, damaging enemies upon impact. Cast two magical stones that spiral outward. This guy, Yuki the Seal? Sounds dope, man. It seems like you're getting both poison damages. Oh, interesting. Okay. Or we could reroll. No, I say we get Yuki the Seal. He sounds really good. Did I... Oh, I can't afford him. One gem. Now I can afford him. There we go. We'll unlock it further levels. No problem. Yuki the seal. Cute little bastard. Increased armor and dodge chance. Love it. Now let's see if we can upgrade him. Oh, it's going to tell us what's up. Increase... Okay, so level 3. Killing enemies while 11th hour is active increases the damage boost. Okay. Enemies slain by venom coating spawn a poisonous pool. That's a very expensive upgrade. What about Yuki the Seal? Gain shield every time Yuki appears. Probably also very good, huh? Let's do that. Wait, what do you mean not enough gemstones? I've done it. I have zero. I've paid for it. Ah, that's a bug. That shouldn't be there. You cute little thing. Look at you. Um, The poison pool would have been pretty dope, but... No, I think we made the right choice there. Poison pool work on flying enemies? Probably not. We are not worthy. Bet. That was for another item? Got it. Sorry, for some reason I thought it was like this here was each level. What an odd way of displaying that. We're all good. All right, moving on. Level five. 13 levels total, huh? Find and reach the portal room. So this sh 
surely nothing's going to get in my way. I love this biome. I don't think I've ever seen this. Where's my seal guy? Trap machines. Hello. Okay, that's new. We've got... Invisible people. Nice and fair. There's another one. Or oh, that's another trap. Okay, I don't like you at all. How much was the game? I can't remember. I think I may have received it uh, back in the day to make videos on. So I might not have paid for it. Um, but if I had to guess, I would say probably 15, 15, 20 bucks. Um, if you're interested in buying it, don't do that just yet. I will be giving away three copies. In fact, when I lose this run, we'll do uh, our first giveaway. <laughs> Did I say lose? Sorry, got my words mixed up there. Um, I definitely didn't mean lose. I meant the opposite of that. Oh, that's a cool trap. Oh, I like it. I love how everything here is like focused on energy and stuff as well. There's a heal. Woo, feels good, man. Hell yeah. Express evasion. Evade bars regenerate faster. Evade bars. I have a I have an a, like a roll or something, don't I? Restorative genes, your health slowly regenerates over time. Replenishing focus. Restore a portion of Linda's maximum health each time she enters Guardian Rage. I oh, we gotta take regen there. Um but before we choose that. Is it a passive dodge or do I actually have a dodge? Let's check. Uh, controls. Button mapping. Primary, secondary, special, evade. Space bar, you're kidding me. Okay, in that case, uh, I will take that. Big fan of dodging in games. Uh, <laughs> don't believe in blocking. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, what's that? A charm. Restore a portion of your maximum health. It's a nice one to have. Hit R when hurt. Just got to remember to do exactly that. I have two gemstones. Now I'm tempted not to, to open any chests at all because I really want to... That's dope. Don't know what that is. So dodgy. A little bit. And I just used it. Idiot. <laughs> well, accidentally pressed that. Oh, you're a cool one. Okay. Wait, what just hit me there? Oh, did I hurt? get hurt in the center of that? I must have. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Ah! Yeah, there's traps everywhere. Uh... Stop doing this to you recently got loop here still learning that um i'm i genuinely can't wait for updates to loop hero i've kind of done all i can do at the moment i mean we could go on further runs and stuff but 
let's be honest, it would be for no reason other than just hanging out and talking, so. Which I'm cool to do. It's fine. The DLC money for this game goes to an animal charity? I think you might... I think that might be true, but they're, they're not charging for the update that's coming. This update that we're currently previewing is absolutely free when it does launch. The art style reminds you of the original Fallout. There's something about how clear it is, right? Like it's... Oh, well, that was dumb. All right. I'm not going to spend any more stuff now. I'm going to save. Although we occasionally do get passive upgrades. Oh, man. Um, yes, it's very... It's pixel art, right? But it's very... One, it's high resolution pixel art. And the animation is smooth. So it kind of doesn't look like that at the same time. It reminds me... Now, this is going back. If you are uh, if you were ever alive in the 90s, you may have remembered this game. Uh, flashback. It reminds me of the animation for Flashback. Ow. What the hell just killed it? Not the poison. Was the poison that strong? 100%. Of the paws and claws DLC goes towards the Humane Society. See? Isn't that fantastic? Who the hell does that? All oh, right, people that care. My bad, my bad. Look, I'm not saying every game company should do that. It's not a really good way to run a business, but... It lets you know what people are like, and that, that, I think, stands for more than anything else. That poison is dope, man. That is massive damage. Is that because of my... It's Venom Kiss and the fact that we got a, a secondary one. That's going to help us on the boss like nothing else. If we, you know, if we get that far. What's my health at? 105. Right, so if they left poison pools on the ground, I wonder what... I wonder what the subsequent damage to other enemies would be like at that point. If it's the same, like if they're taking the same, because that'd be ridiculous. Uh, and I'm kind of down for it. If we get the opportunity to see that perk again, I might take it. You can have three different poisons. Oh, that's sick. This one will open. Please don't be just cash. Pyrotechnics. Throw an explosive that inflicts fire damage. E. Um, oh, that's another thing as well. I, uh... Holy mackerel. Victim of impatience. Ten gifted subs. My dude, thank you so much. You absolute legend. Thank you. Um, what I was going to say is that I played The Binding of Isaac with a controller for the first time. I hadn't done that before. I was always keyboard. Um, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Cool. Hey, Heinerman. Good to see you as well. Oh, no, it's this one. This is the one that got us last time. Complete the main objective while having half or more of your maximum health points. <laughs> where's my little, uh, where's my guy? <laughs> You're going to come out occasionally? 
A protective that provides armor and occasionally negates all incoming damage. Increased armor and dodge chance. I guess that's passive. Gain shield every time Yuki appears. Has anyone seen Yuki? I don't know, man. I don't know. Hold up. All I could do is destroy the altar, right? Alright, hang on a sec. Maybe we don't have to do the, the 30 kill streak thing. Poison too strong. Po I, God, I love poison builds. Too good. Yeah, just hit that a couple of times. Look, let poison do the rest. Although it is made of, like, rock or something. But it seems to be working. Best character for this. Yep, we got it. Oh, this is great. Primary attack releases three arrows at a time. Flame kiss. Primary attacks burn enemies. Primary attacks will penetrate enemies. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of choices there. I like triple. I like penetration. I like, I like fire. You think penetration? Yeah. I'm leaning that way. Let's do it. Press E to do a massive amount of damage. What was E again? Uh, throw an explosive that inflicts fire damage. Okay. <laughs> That's so pretty. Look at that. Yeah, we'll be upgrading poison, uh, this guy next. The, the poison. Oh, you all gonna die. You all gonna die real fast. Ow. Rude. Oh, special enemy. Ow! Move. Where the hell did that come from? This looks like we got a caster somewhere. Well, it wasn't you. Oh! Alright, pull it back. Don't get greedy. I'm not in a rush here. I'm glad I got the cooldown on the on the flip. I thought that was a good call. Yeah, so this is this is more like Undermine's rogue like mode. It makes a lot more sense because I was when I first read the brief, I was like, but it's already a roguelite. But I dig it. I think it's cool. Have any of the giveaways happened yet? Not yet, no. No. When uh, when we beat the final boss on this run, <laughs> that's when it'll happen. <laughs> I made a boo-boo. I uh, fat-fingered the control key. I have three gems. I'm going to want to save, but I do want to open these all the time. Cash is just as good, I guess. We can always swap it out. Trade it in. Let me begin. Hey, Aaron, how you doing? Welcome on in. Lovely of you to show up. Uh, thank you very much for being 
a very patient person with me over the last couple of days. <laughs> It's been a week. It's been a week. Well, I appreciate the visit nonetheless. Found it. Got him. All right, let me throw the... Did I throw it? I pressed it. Did it not work? Did I press the wrong button? I probably pressed the wrong button. Typical me thing to do. Oh god. Oh, you're a tough one. Wow. You weren't kidding. That is a lot of damage. I dig the music too. It's like... It's like, yeah. It's like Judge Dredd. Alright, that's two dead, right? Next altar in 42 seconds. Oh, what? I have to wait for them to appear? Oh, okay. That makes more sense. We get a little bit of a reprieve, perhaps. Nope, it's right here. And completed the main objective at more than half of my health points. Double bonus. Brilliant. They respawn if you take too long. Oh, geez. Thank you, Craigon. Tough Guardian. Increase maximum health. Yeah. In a rhythm. While standing still, Linda's dam damage increases with each loosed arrow. Increased rage gain. We're doing okay on health, right? As long as we don't get surrounded. I gotta, I gotta take this one. Too strong. I have five gems. All right. Let's go. What's for sale? What you got? Choker of Illusion. Increased dodge chance. Ah, uh, yeah. 200? Before we do that, though, let's see what an upgrade to this guy costs. Done. Done. It's the wrong person, but it was a cool noise nonetheless. And 150. What else can we buy? Three boulders fall from the sky. Create a vortex that pulls enemies in. Evade bars regenerate faster. 200. Ah, that's the one. Okay. Would have been nice to get that as well. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right here. And we got, we're going to have poison pools everywhere. What are you working on there? You carving? How much was that? Where's my cash? How much cash do I have? Crit for 100? Was it a temporary? I think it was a re um, relic, not a grace. Or, sorry, a charm or something. Let's have a look. Right. So that's something we would have to activate. And we'd have to swap out for one of our current items. Heal your wounds? No, fine. 
how much? 169. So that was what? 20 bucks? Alright, let's see if we can... I mean, I'm not stealing, really, am I? Oh, it's plus one. Never mind. See, they're smart. They're not going to keep more than a dollar in each one. Save your money. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm liking this. This is going well. And in fact... Oh, we fighting... We fighting spider... Is it the same bosses? This is the spider lair, yeah. It is not the spider lair. Face tank. That damage was stupid. Did cost me a bit of health. I did go a little bit overboard there, but it was worth. Kill all fer ferocious enemies. This is going to be easy. Oh, there's nine of them. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, all I wanted to do was stand still there and just let go of as many arrows as possible. Does this do damage or just push me back? Just pushes me back, it seems. Okay. Ah, shit. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Didn't expect to get frozen there. Okay, absolute focus. While in Guardian's Rage, Linda's movement speed and critical hit chance are all increased, Linda deals increased damage against slowed or stunned enemies. Harmonize decreases the stamina Linda must consume whilst moving and shooting, increases the duration she can perform. Do we slow or stun? Not really, unless we cast our little uh, doobly-doo. Which I could do. Or I take Harmonize, which I don't have to think about. Did I just see an enemy move down here? No. Bad, unfortunate placement for this thing. Um, certainly didn't help our cause, cause before. More gems. Good, good, good. Yes. No, 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 no. What is that? Oh, good. Rocket launcher. Nice. Airstrike. I was going to say, can I shoot through walls? No, I cannot, unfortunately. That would have been... That would have been a little bit too much. Hey! That's the first one we've seen. Love it. This is going really well. Wish I could take that out. I mean, it's it's not too bad. It's just annoying. Oh, oh shit. Go, run. 
Linda, please. Are there any ranks of enemies higher than yellow? Because there's green, right? They're like the champion ones, and then there's the... Is that... It does. Never mind. Is this another trap? The piercing is special. Piercing is kind of amazing. Yeah, good luck with that. You're both poison. What are you going to do about it? Oh, jeez. Every hit, it just shoots at me. Oh, no, we can kill it. I've never actually gone to this zone before in the main game. I've only ever done the first two zones, I think. Uh, someone's putting barricades up. Poison's doing most of the work, honestly. We don't have to do much else. Ah, it's you. I think you're so good. I kind of want to open that. Is that one of the the glowy chests? I got a buff. Some kind of buff. No, I just pressed control. No big deal. Is buying a new streaming setup considered tax deductible? believe so yep um i haven't even done taxes yet we're still gathering paperwork but i'll be getting an accountant to do mine this year for that reason exactly spent a fortune on setting up streaming in 2020 um and and when i say tax deduction right that that reduces your taxable income specifically for that job, I think. I am not an expert. But it definitely doesn't work like, oh, you just get the money back, right? No, it just lowers your income, so that's less money that gets taxed at the end of the day. Um, okay, Mark's harmonic training immediately refills the dash bar after a harmonic slam i haven't even been using my secondary attack song of the vampire harmonic slam drains enemy health to restore linda's own mighty crippling blow knockback and stun knockback and stun and a chance to stun them of course we didn't get that upgrade previously did we I don't think. No, we got that one. That's okay. Still happy with that. Oh, a nuclear squirrel. That's very c cool. Oh my god, we just got a massive raid. Thank you very much, Tater Sloth. <laughs> oh, the taters are invading. Is Please tell me that's your emote. That is the cutest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Welcome on in, folks. Uh, my name is McQueeb. Just a dude. 
Oh shit. About to get hit. Oh no. You're doing that. He's causing he's causing all that mess. Uh, I play indie roguelikes. It's kind of my jam. I'm looking for the next big game. Um, what else do you need to know, Mount B? I stream most nights from 6 p.m. ish onwards. Don't really have a schedule because uh, I work full time, but uh, I do very much enjoy streaming. We run a chill stream here. It's a good chance for people to relax and take their mind off the world, which at the moment is more important than ever. Uh, oh, and I beat Noita without taking damage. I was the first person to do that. And I have snakes. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a snake dad. Like, a legit snake dad. Here, look. There you go. Talisman of Projection. The next five hits are ignored. Yeah, why not? And I'm Brad Pitt's stunt double, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Teleporting enemies, man. That's just mean. Wow. And a lot of them, apparently. I only have two gems, though. That's a bit of a bummer. You love the campaign, so to have an actual rogue light mode. So here's my thoughts on that. I don't think it's a rogue light mode as, at all. I think they got their terminology a little bit co confused because the game itself is already a rogue light. This is a rogue like mode. I know it's semantics, uh, but I think it needs to be said. Um, it's very akin to Undermine's other mine. Um, and it's a free update. There's a bunch of new stuff coming completely for free. Um, Tater, thank you very much, by the way. Are you into, um, what, what do you do? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Sorry, I don't, I don't have like a shout out command or anything, but I'm, I'm, I would happily, uh, give you a follow if I like your content, dude. I'm always looking for new people to watch, actually, because um, it, I, I don't follow enough streamers, apparently. There's never someone available in all of the time zones that I need. Asim games, as in asymmetrical, like turn based multiplayer style games. Like, uh, isn't that how they used to play chess or still play chess? I guess. Where you, you'll send your moves to another person on the other side of the planet and then they've got a certain amount of time where they, you know, have to get it back to you. What? I don't know. There's another one gone. One more to go. Gem. That's just normal chest. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> like the long dark. Have you played Zomboid? Somebody asked me about that earlier. It's a little bit too much micro for me. I don't think I can handle it. Um, but I'm, I'm enjoying watching it. It's one of those ones that I... I, I re get really invested in people's runs. And obviously if they're playing on Ultra Difficult or um, Apocalypse Mode, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah, shit.
All ferocious enemies slain. You got damn right. Same. Yes. Yes. You're exactly. So, okay. I have a, I, I don't know what it is about it, but games like, so darkest dungeon, uh, Actually, a lot of, like, survival-style games, but, like, RimWorld, uh, Darkest Dungeon, um, XCOM... What's another one that I put in that list? Oxygen Not Included. Stuff like that, where the first couple of hours are, like, really, really amazing, really fun to set up a base and stuff. And then after a while, there's so much stuff going on, I, I have to tap out. I, I just can't. Yep, there you go. Same thing. Maybe it is ADHD. Maybe I'm on the spectrum there. I don't know. Uh, choose a talent. Replenishing focus restores a portion of Linda's maximum health each time she enters Guardian's Rage. Express evasion upgrade. Oh, no shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. That's cool. All right, so we've completed the main objective here. Don't leave anything behind. We'll do a quick clear. Seems like a lot of the map still. Why did you press that? Stop. Ugh. What a pain. Christopher Rod? I followed him like a couple of weeks ago because he was recommended to me. Yes. Clear the rooms from enemies to unlock the doors and reach. No sweat. Kill a given number of enemies without taking damage. You've come to the right place. <laughs> this will go well. Oh god, you are fast. Okay. What is it, 20 enemies? Okay, I can do this. I saw one run up here, must have died. Um, so yeah, buddy of mine, uh, who's one of my mods and I grew up together and, and we played XCOM, uh, a huge amount, but it was mainly like I would be sitting with him playing kind of thing. I never, you know, I gave input, but I didn't actually play. Um, but he's amazing at it. Some people just got that kind of brain, I guess. So the problem with XCOM comes when, uh... No, you don't. It comes when you've got like a really elite crew and then one of them gets injured and is out for like, you know, a week and then somebody else is off psi training or, or whatever. Um, same kind of concept, right? Like as soon as you spread the team out, I get the same level of frustration whenever I play a Final Fantasy game and half my team disappear because the story dictates that's what happens now. We did it. What did we get? Reset the cooldowns of all your abilities and feel your rage. That's actually dope. But become... Invisible? It's invisible. Yeah, okay. We don't need that. We don't need that. I want them to know where the pain is coming from. I, I mauled when it's a fixed character loss. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. There's been some some rough games. I grew up in the 80s and 90s, so I'm, you know, a little bit older than your average streamer. But um, I I've, I remember I can't remember what game it was, but I do remember one game where you actually invested heavily into like leveling up and uh, one of your characters or one of your teams. I think it was a Final Fantasy game, but you permanently lost them, and if they had equipment on 
you lost that as well. You didn't get it back. Um, pretty brutal. Did that happen in 7 when Aerith died? Oh, sorry. Spoilers. Tactics has that. Isn't gaming great though? Like, just basic dis discussions like this about the history of gaming, all the cool stuff that's ever happened. It's dope, man. That's why I want to work in the games industry again. Alright, so one section is done. We've got two more sections to go. Oh, bad boy. Got him. Resident Evil switching characters could screw you if you over-equipped them. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the quality of life stuff, right? Did anyone ever play the original Diablo 2 before? Um, well, I think it's even the same nowadays. If you were to play Diablo 2 today, it would be exactly the same. Um, if you put a point... Because the points that you distributed into the talent tree, uh, they were permanent. You couldn't change them. I think that's still the case, right? In D2, at least. D3 changed that completely. It was one of the things that I found actually the most disappointing about it it did let you switch up your builds but you know you had to do it the hard way back in the day they did add respec in 1.1 okay 110 oh we got a talent healthy globes tough guardian maximum health increase linda's attack speed and decrease the cooldowns on her all her abilities yeah, come on. This is ridiculous. We're getting way overpowered now. I am kind of a glass cannon, though. But you had to gather materials to get them and spend a lot of gold. Right, but for players at, at that higher level, it didn't really matter. Oh, that's a significant increase in speed. Um, I played a sorceress once and accidentally put a point into warmth and to this day I still wouldn't forgive myself for that. I had to re-roll for a single point out of place. <laughs> Pissed me off so much. Talisman of protection. Increase critical hit chance. Okay, so let's use that and then pick that up ah Kragon I uh I was I did say when we reach the end of this run uh alright screw it let's do a giveaway give me one second here let me bring up The uh, email, got it, and Piesta Resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to take part in tonight's giveaway for a copy of Children of Morta, uh, go ahead and type something in chat. It is time to play The Beard of Fortune. Um, we don't have any audio, though. That's a little bit of a shame. I should... I'll just stand here.
I'm not in any danger at all, I'm sure. It doesn't have to be verbatim something in chat. Anything. Literally. Your favorite emote. Uh, a number between one and... I don't know. Pick something random. 70. Uh, anything. Up to you. Whatever you want to do. You'll call and wake your mom if you win. <laughs> I I want to hear that that call. That'd be hilarious. Monster in the background. I don't even know what monster that is. <laughs> um, it is totally rigged, by the way. According to everyone that doesn't get picked, um, it's kind of a thing on the channel. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't win, it's it's 100% rigged. Um, hell, I think it even chose Ms. Queeb, my wife, once. Uh, <laughs> my mistake. It was so funny. <laughs> looks like uh, looks like we've reached the limit of the number of people that want to enter, huh? All right, I'll give it another 30 seconds. Ah, oh, no way. <laughs> That's hilarious. What is this? Uh, you are entering to win a copy of Trials. Trials. No, not not the update. The update is not available yet. Uh, but the game Children of Morta. Uh, and you've just entered, by the way. You don't have a choice now. You're you're in. All right, folks. Give it the old countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Aaron just got in. Perfect. Hey. Mold liquor. Thank you very much for the resub. Three months. Very kind. <laughs> Here we go. And the winner is... Da -da 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 -ba -ba -ba. Binochi. Binochi. Uh, fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, I will go ahead and... Are you here? You are here indeed. Let me go and send that to you right now. Send you a whisper real quick. Did I get that? No, I got to do it on the actual. I'm good with computers, I swear. There we go. All right. Congratulations. You win a copy of Children of Morta. He can't call it rigged when he wins. I mean. He, he can. <laughs> Right on. I have uh, DM'd you the code. Congratulations. Uh, we'll run another one in, I don't know, it's 10 p.m. now. We'll do it in an hour. We'll do it at 11. Um, now, if you, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to the game. All right. Uh, remind me if I miss that, by the way, because I'm not looking at my clock. Oh, you're not going to let me go through there. I have to clear this zone first, huh? Oh, is this little red button do anything? Hang on. Wait, that's not the red button. Here's another one. Let's see what it does. No, it does nothing and I... No, okay. Uh-oh. No, sir. Don't like that. Mm -mm. Fortunately, though, everything I touch <laughs> dies very, very quickly. Uh, 
Wait, what? What are we talking about with the orbs? Did I leave something behind? a good enemy. I like that. The walls are a, a clever addition. Oh, we got some little blobby dudes too. Thirty-two, we got there eventually. Whoa! Ah! Uh, piece of cake. I don't know what you're worried about. That was a pretty cool kill. Oh, what does that give me? Obelisk of Swiftness. Nice. Oh, I got hit. Ah. Thankfully, poison only hurts us when we stand in it, and it doesn't, like, actually poison us. Pyrotechnics. Create a Vortex. Oh, Vortex would be better than the Explosion, I think. I gotta remember to use them, because I never do. I like the sound of that. And... Dispersed Shot. Explosive Crescendo has a larger area of effect at the cost of reduced damage. Lucy summons a Cyclone at the impact of Explosive Crescendo. Uh, marks Harmonic Barrage. Mark attacks enemies close to Linda while performing primary attack. That sounds like it's passive. Does he just show up? I know it says harmonic barrage, but... Or instead I could summon a cyclone. Let's try this... Oh, that's that one. I can't sell it, can I? No. Can't destroy it or dismantle it or anything. Gotta go fast. Oh. Where's the exit? It's down here, huh? I would say this run is going quite well. We have six gems at the moment. It's definitely a good idea to save it. If we can make it through to the... What the hell is that thing? I don't know where Mark is. Ah! Idiot. Anyone but Kevin. I couldn't. I couldn't. If Kevin was here, I'd... Mm. When you stand still, is it just... Oh, okay. It's just double damage, right? What's wrong with Kevin? Kevin.
Right, so when you stand still, I think it's just double damage. Or does it permanently increase? How do we check that? Which one was it? While standing still, Linda's damage increases. No, with each arrow loosed. Okay. So we got plenty of cash. We got lots of gems. Seven so far. That's pretty decent. Penetrating shots was the best purchase, though. By far. Am I a Kevinist? I'm just saying he shouldn't, he should stay at home and like help out the family in other ways, you know? It's fine. Level cleared, we can access the portal room. I think we actually got a ton of money from from the big combos because when they when they pay out you get it uh, like a bonus money from that a bonus money yes a single bonus money Uh, Aaron, I, I missed your message earlier. You said Jordan was on a rant. Uh, tell him I said hello. I'll be, uh, I'll be on his show again tomorrow, I think. Portal? Now Kill all ferocious enemies Damn, I was hoping So 11 ferocious enemies These enemies are actually quite tough too So this is the 11th level I assume, oh shit, I've got to do it And I've got a time limit now Complete the main objective 11 ferocious enemies in 3 minutes Okay Hey XPL, how you doing? Okay, we gotta we gotta hurry here. Oh, I think I I don't know, maybe that is Hmm. There's a, like a wave that comes out the front of me sometimes. And I think that might... That. It's almost like that's the... That's the thing that we just got. Uh, harmonic slam has a shorter cooldown. Deft hands. Attack speed and decrease. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's fine. Because that's just what we need. A higher attack speed. <laughs> we could have taken less damage from dark enemies too. That probably would have helped us on this floor. That move. I think that's... That's like the melee when we get close, right? Must be. Has to be. Oh, look, it's two at once. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous well we are going to have to use Kevin eventually I'm afraid Press the wrong button. 
All right, this 60 seconds. Yeah, okay, that, that ain't gonna happen. That's a little bit unreasonable, I think. There's no way. That's the wave auto attack that another character has, then it's exactly that, yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. So, just to clarify. Oh, we can't stand here and look at that. I don't think the game pauses. I think I get it now. So if we look at that one, where is it? Mark attacks enemies close to Linda while performing parry attacks. So that's a passive. So an, a harmonic barrage is his special move. Right. Makes sense. Some of the chests you're leaving behind, don't use gems to open. Really? How, how can you tell? Oh, okay. What's the indicator? Is that a locked one? Like how... No. I... I don't know. I'll have to... I'll have to look out for him. I've been avoiding him for that exact reason. That's the giant tree. Yeah, I hate them. Only the yellow ones that are more cylindrical require... Ah, thank you. So that's, a, that's awesome. That's a passive attack when enemies get too close for us. Nice little, nice little DPS buff. If there's one thing we're missing on this run, though, it is DPS. So I'm really thankful to have it. Kill the trees, mushrooms, dark spirits, whatever. Get them. Ridiculous damage. Amazing. Yes, I do. Uh, Mount Bilimanjaro. <laughs> oh, six stacks. Got it. And then as soon as we move, we lose it. Thank you. I'm learning a lot here. Six is the max. I mean, got to draw the line somewhere, right? <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. Um, if it's six times the damage, yeah, in the boss fight, I'm going to do everything in my power to be standing still then, same as before. We did take a lot of damage, unfortunately, though, during that fight. It was about 75% of my health gone. We are earning a ton of money though. We're doing very well on the funds. Oh, it's not six times. It's six stacks of damage up. I get it. That would be a good one to upgrade. 
Now that I think about it, huh? Yeah, they're definitely not dying as fast from the poison anymore. Ten percent more than the stack before. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to do the math on that for me. So, tiny, tiny bit more, essentially. Wrong button again. Although I do have something to refill that, right? Yes, I do. It's probably got a massive cooldown on it. And it's only a tiny amount. Okay, well, I deserve that. I keep accidentally tapping the, uh, the control key. I used to have Cherry MX Browns, which had a little actuation point on the key. Um, now I'm using one without an actuation point at all, and it... Where are we going? And I keep um, mistyping, clicking keys without. Would rebinding keys help? Oh, I like to have it there. I could switch it to the the side mouse button, I guess. Middle mouse button. It must be over here, right? No. What the hell is going on? Hey, Finn. What's up, dude? Good to see you. Thank you very much for the host. Hope you've had a lovely day. I think I need a new keyboard because this has been a, a complaint with this keyboard since I've got it. Um, I might just bite the bullet and buy one. If anyone can recommend one, I... I wouldn't mind something a little bit clickier. I don't know how annoying that is. Just more tactile, you know? Ducky keep... Yeah, see, I don't want to... I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I know they're good. Everyone raves about them. But, um... Honestly, I'd be happy with just another Corsair or Razor or whatever. Where am I going here? I've got literally nowhere else to go. Have I made a mistake? Outdoor special. Thank you very much. Eight months, my dude. Good to have you, man. Hello? 11 out of 10 keyboards. Yeah. Do they make... Okay, so do they make a full-size one? I, I gotta have my numpad. Because I use this this computer for a lot of, like digit entering they do can you dm me a link then logitech g610 lenovo basic wired lovely key feel i've had logitech keys keyboards before i can't remember the 610 they did come out with um logitech came out with uh like a it was wireless but it had a special I don't know. The wireless was better or something. And it looked really cool. Um, okay. Have I soft locked the game somehow? What am I looking for here? Kill all the ferocious enemies. There are none. Like I hear something moaning in the background. You like their mice? I'm using one right now. JB... 9821, thank you very much. Another eight monther. Thank you for your resub, my friend. Corsair K70, that's the one I'm using right now. This is the uh, silent one, or the. No, not silent. What's it called? Um, yeah, and I had a, I had the Cherry, Cherry MX Browns before that, or. It's not even Cherry, is it? Something else.
I I don't know what's going on here. Please don't let this be the end of the run. That would be extremely disappointing. Hard left after you go through the middle gate. What middle gate? Like, this is solid wall here. It's not even like it's not scouted out, right? Middle gate. Hard left. Hard left in here, you mean? So you're at the top gate now. Okay. So we go down. Okay, middle middle gate, second, I guess. Hard left. Go down here. Look for a reseller, they're hard to track down. Plus you live in New Zealand. Oh, okay, no problem. No problem. I'm I'm sure I can find them. I don't really want to build my own as much as like I would love to do that. I don't have the time to get another hobby right now. I'm not I'm not going mad here, am I? There's this here looks suspect, but I can't do anything with it. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. I, I do remember sections like this, right? And it'd be kind of like a rock wall. It kind of looks like that, but... Oh, I think we've... I think we've messed up here. Something... wonder if it was my fault or... Like, the level. So here's a question. If I do have to restart, which is fine. If, if I got to do it, I got to do it. Um, do I lose everything? Like all of the achievements that I've kind of, or the, you know, the earnings more or less. I do like the little, uh, the coiled cables that come with those, those ducky keyboards. There's a guy on TikTok I follow who, um, he makes them. That's his, like, that's his business. I think that's pretty cool. Has a 10 key? All right, dope. Oh, oh, that looks, that looks spicy. Ain't it, that ain't it though. Oh, come on. Anyone got any ideas before I pull the pin? Ah, oh, it's a shame. We could have, we could have, I think we could have won that one too. Had Cherry MX Browns. I probably wouldn't go with Browns again. They're not, they're not. When you, when you push down, it's the bump that I don't like. It feels like it sticks a little bit on its way down. Maybe that's just with the Corsair version. Is this a bug? I think it might be, yeah. Um... Yeah, if anyone's got any ideas, let me know. But I'm not seeing uh, 
I'm not seeing a way out here. Nah, I think we're gonna have to restart. Oh, damn! Double check this map just to make sure. Kill all the ferocious enemies. Complete the main objective before the time runs out. Well, we didn't do the time, obviously. There's no way you could do 11 of those in three minutes, by the way. I don't think, at least. Is there a save and exit? Uh, let's return home. Well, we did accumulate the stuff, which is kind of good. Um, but no, that's a, that's a loss, I think. Nope, there is literally just an exit. Oh, bummer. Okay. No problem. It's all good. L library, this is new. Oh, that's my stats. Nice. Well, this is cool. It shows you, uh, like, levels. Hello, Mark. Uh, what character would you like to see next, uh, except for Kevin? I'll let you guys choose except for Kevin. Ah, uh, it happens. It's not, a, it's not the final release, so I'm sure that'll be one thing that... I'll send them the info. I'll, I'll address it with them. They can watch the, the VOD. They, they'll be able to tell exactly what happened. Do the characters have any advantages? Well, um, yeah, Lucy's amazing. Uh, Linda's amazing. Everyone else is average, except for Kevin. He's the worst. The shortest one. That's the mage. We'll do another mage run. Although I haven't actually used Apan either. Let's let's try Apan. Appen? Apan? We'll try it. We'll try this. I haven't seen this character before. Mid-ranged warrior. She can take out multiple enemies at once while preferring to keep them at a safe distance. Sounds good to me. Uses energy to perform magic glyph. Primary attacks fill her energy. Oh, sick. Kill a given number of enemies without taking damage. All right. I think we can do that. So I assume this is where I would come to activate whatever, right? Once I'd, you know, unlocked a certain thing. And then once you've unlocked everything, maybe the, the ultimate battle ensues after that. I like it. Left shift. Let's see what that does. I can't take damage, you see, folks. You have to sit, you have to stand back a little bit. Not the snakes, though. She's getting slightly knocked back herself. That seems very powerful. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I can still do it, though. I can still complete it. All right, as long as we don't come up against another one of these guys. And I'm almost dead. Ain't no thing. Don't even worry about it. I thought once we failed it, it was done. But no, we do get another chance. So that's cool. Yeah, that seems really effective. Like, obviously we have some learning to do. Um, I think keeping enemies at bay, maybe extending the range. Oh, great, another one. The hell was that thing? I held the button down that time. Ah. 
hate this. She's exhausted, that's why. Let's get some poison on this one. If that's even possible. Uh, Blade Slinger, Divine Grace, a melee companion that fights by your side. <laughs> oh, okay then. Sure, I guess. Magic Glyph deals more damage. Oh, that's my special. I haven't even really used that yet. To use obelisks more efficiently. Eh. Evades with such a force that enemies around her are slowed. Slowed when I dash? That sounds pretty good. Um. Yeah, alright. And I'm going to save all of my gems. We're not... Well, here's the thing. You said yellow ones are the ones you have to pay for, right? What about corpses? Do they cost to open? Oh, that's... That's my body. No. Alright, I should be really paying more attention to the stuff that's on the ground then. Wow, a Divine Grace that's that good, like early on, is pretty dope. I'm talking about the little, the little droid. Hey, Ark Hazard, what's up, dude? Been a while? How you been? How's, uh, how's the business going? This attack is really good for, um... Obelisk of Fortune increases luck. Okay. I wonder if that's specifically critical or the, or the loot drops as well. Yeah, this, this attack is great, especially for uh, breaking pots. Work is work. Amen. Didn't you have your own business? Am I thinking of that? Hello, Legitimate. How you doing? Oh, you're done goofed now. Rage fills energy. Upon entering Guardian's Rage, Apen's energy is filled and her cooldowns are reset. Incre mo increased movement speed. All right. I think I like Apen so far. I'm not normally the biggest fan of melee characters, but it's kind of a hybrid. It's pretty dope. You're just a worker, B? Ah, okay. I could have sworn, man. I could have sworn. Have I played... Crown Trick, yes. Finished it several times. Haven't played it since... Uh, there's been a few updates since I played it. But yeah, I've, I'm pretty sure I've beaten... At the time, all of the content there was. The only thing I hadn't done was unlocked everything. Critical chance, huh? Maybe we can get an attack speed up somehow. Permanent attack speed up with this guy? This person would be amazing.
collection of the gem. That's fantastic. So we're going to save... Yeah, it's going to save all of our gems, all of our cash. Ah, uh, actually, I take it back. The, there is some of those circular uh, things I will open. Because they're usually pretty good. Not always, but most of the time. Despite the small hiccup that we experienced before, um, I'm still very impressed. I like this game mode a lot. Heavenly Swings. John's Heaven's Strike falls on enemies on critical primary attacks. Okay, Glyph of the Shadows. Kevin, a defensive stance. Killing three enemies with a single primary attack strike fortifies a pan with a shield. We're going to take John's Heavenly Strike. If we crit, John shows up and and whacks him. Corpse to open back there. I missed one. And I left two bucks behind. Thank you. Ferocious enemies, no sweat. Four bucks? Hey, four bucks is more than I had before. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The heavenly strike. We like that. I don't crit often, but when I do... Oh, we've got the same side quest to do, which is dope. I don't mind that one at all. What's the egg? Charm. Temporarily become invulnerable. Oh, it's a, that's the one-off. Okay, so charms are single-use items. Bit of a shame. We are max right now. Did I activate it? No, not yet. So once we've got this secondary quest, I'm going to check... There we go. Uh, what my left shift does. Uh, I mean, uh, it's pretty. Is it co-op or maybe multiplayer... Is it co-op? Can anyone confirm? I don't think it is, right? It's a damage plus slow field. Okay. Interesting. That hurt. In regular progression, it gets a heal added to it. When was this character added? In the in the pet update? Might explain why I hadn't seen her before. Good character, though. I like it. We have six gems. Excellent. I probably want... I probably want ten before I get to the shop, if we can. Mmm, delicious cash. 
Oh, I'm still a bit bummed about that last run. But we will live on. Do you have the DLC as well, Unworldly? Because that'll probably answer that question. Sticky Monster, yes. Uh, so the, the primary game is a, a Rogue Light. This is a preview of a new mode that's coming out. It's... Uh, if I had to explain it, it's, it's very similar to Undermine's Other Mine mode. Where... Essentially, it's it's more of a roguelike situation. So on each run, you start you start fresh. You don't have any of the the massive upgrades that you'd have when you're playing the game normally. All right. Restorative genes. Your health slowly regenerates. I like that. Rage fill energy upon entering Guardian's rage. Eh, gain a shield that protects you from certain amount of damage. This sounds like a one and done, but if it's a talent, it's got to come back, no? Light versus like, which do I prefer? I'd say light. It, it gives you that really good sense of unlocking stuff over time that makes you more powerful, and that's kind of the main draw for me in these sorts of games. Fortification is a one and done? No! Okay, well... Restorative genes, then. Wow! Could you imagine getting that? That's, that's something I'm glad I didn't learn the hard way. Oh, this is great for getting combos as well. We do need to be attacked fairly heavily for, it to, for us to maintain it, because we're not the fastest mover in the world. Um, and I am giving away two more copies of the game. We gave away one already in uh, 15 minutes. We'll give another one away. Thanks to 11-Bit uh, Studios and Evolve. All right, we have seven gems. Are they called gems? I think they're called gems. That's about it, huh? Added as a free update, June 24th, 2020. All right, so it's, so it's been a while since I've played. Um, I like it, though. I like it. Good, good character. Activate laborer altars and protect them until they're done oh it's this one so we will be able to rack up a 30 kill here i think we do also have to survive though um let's hope we get lucky and get another divine grace before then maybe another talent if we're lucky we're about halfway to the next level there I kind of want to start this now. Is this the right thing? Oh, I've got to do... Wait, have I got to do another one? Both at the same time? There we go. And one more, please. Thank you. Lovely. 
Increases critical hit chance. You know, I'm a sucker for that too. Charged thunderclap deals more damage. Eh. I'd rather upgrade my primary. That's fine. Magic glyph has extended duration. Nope. We'll take critical roll. And it looks like... We have another item there. Is that poison? That could be poison. Arc Hazard, no problem, dude. Thank you very much for popping in. Take it take it easy. Have a lovely evening and uh, sleep good, my dude. Thanks for stopping in. Poison, yeah. Poison's damaged enemies. Poison damages enemies over time. Cool. It's a level one, so it's not quite as good as the last one we had, but we can fix that. That's actually probably one I don't want to upgrade to level three now that I think about it. We get some sort of stun or knockback as well. Oh, now you're talking. Not much going on down here, huh? I know we left a few corpses upstairs as well. What kind of game is it? Action roguelike. Just the, just the best kind. We did leave bodies behind, right? Maybe, maybe back a little bit. Oh, here we go. All right. Shop time? Yes. I've always liked the music in the shop. Mighty Touch. Your primary attack has a chance to stun. Level 2 for 450. Throw a trap. No, we got to take the Divine Root Grace here. Huh? Yeah. That's an easy purchase. No problem. And in fact... Increased stun duration. Increased damage. Oh wait, that's my little guy. Level 3 summons two companions. That's almost worth putting points into. And there's our poison. Yeah, sea spawns a venomous pool. Since we're going to be so close to them, maybe we don't want that. But my little dude. Upgrading him, that's smart. And then, um, poison as well. Increased damage. All right. I'm happy with that. Gamble for an item. That's it, you're just going to stand there, not a, oh, sorry, my bad. I guess it's my bad. Well, I'm sorry. And when, what do you do? You heal, okay. These upgrades seem really cheap. Why are we even in this cave? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Let's go on. We are already significantly more powerful. Oh, I can't wait to get my little dude up. Level three, have two little dudes. I do like this zone a lot. It's cool. Ow, stuck. 
Oh yes, a little bit more difficult. Oh, we've got to not take damage for another five enemies. Shit, I didn't even see that either. Oop. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> got my gem back. That guy stole it from me, so now I got it back. Not good. Not good. The chance to stun seems to be very effective. Okay, that was easy. As for Thunderclap, burns enemies in fire. As for Thunderclap, marks punch assist. Primary attacks have a chance to conjure... Oh! That's the same thing we had before, right? Marks punch of concentration. Maybe a different... Hmm. Primary... No, we'll take that. Who's Asfa? That's my secondary attack. Got it. We'll have to, I guess, wait until we hit something with it to find out what that does. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, it's the same move. And that's awesome. Increases damage, decreased movement speed. Oh, that's a tough choice now. Temporarily become invulnerable. For the boss fight, that's going to be... Yeah, no, we'll keep the one we have. Can we switch them out? Yes. Alright, so if we use that... And we'll kill whatever's left with the increased damage. Ow. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this is the perfect character for that. A chance to have additional close range melee damage is kind of amazing. I see little tufts of like, it must be just sand or something. I hate sand. Somebody made a really great TikTok, by the way, get on TikTok if you're not, it's hilarious. Um, and it was Anakin talking about how he cleansed the, uh, the temple, right? And then uh, he's like, he's talking to his friend about it. And he's like, yeah, they were like, oh, Anakin. Oh, save me, save me. And he's like, I pulled out my lightsaber and I was all like, oh, is that sand? And he just freaks out. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, no damage again, huh? Oh, and we got poison spiders. That's why. One of my least favorite enemies, actually, the poison spider. Because they, they have a tendency to spit on you. Go, little guy. It's up to you. I need your help. Oh, I ain't going through that. That's it. Get him. 
Two more. <laughs> My dude, you are a legend. <laughs> Ace's contingency. Chance to throw an axe whilst attacking. Oh, yes. <laughs> now we're a ranged class. Out. I dislike that trap very much. What does this flask here fill up? Aaron, take it easy. Yes, get some sleep. I shall uh, talk to you tomorrow. All right, now we're now we're getting somewhere here. Ah, that thing hit me again. Oh, that feels your rage. Got it. All right, so I guess we are going through here. Yoink. Oh, no. Accelerated display, increased movement speed again. Tenacious rage lasts longer. Increase dodge chance. I'll take the dodge chance there. It's a passive. <laughs> God damn it. That's his ability, I think, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, boy. I'm hurting a little bit here. Create a vortex that pulls enemies in. Sure. Probably go up and explore up here real quick. Increases XP gain. Oh, I love... Oh, yeah, that's going to be my next upgrade, I think. Get a second one of those on the field. That's going to help our killing. It's going to help the completion of the secondary quests. It's going to be extremely useful. That one costs, and I'm going to do it. I should not have done it. Oh, giveaway time. You're absolutely right. It is 11 o'clock. All right, we safe? I think we're safe. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like a chance to win a copy of the game, the Children of Morta brought to us by 11-Bit Studios and Evolve PR, please type something in chat. Uh, Wildcat, the game's been out for a while, dude. Yeah, long time, actually. A couple of years? Um, but this is where we're kind of showing off a new... It's been a couple of years? Yeah. Uh, we're showing off a new version, or a new update to the game that's coming soon. It's in about a week. Um, no, shit, it's in three days. Five days. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Trey Leany, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a really good game. So the main story, we're on... This is kind of a... What would you call it? Other, other than... How would you explain a roguelike game? It's a permadeath mode, right? You try and try again, everyone starts off on roughly the same footing. Um, the main story has uh, like a meta progression that you can unlock over time. And then uh, it's 
dope. It's a really good game. It's been out long enough. It's been it's on Game Pass. All oh, right, there you go. <laughs> I'm sure the update will be coming to to Game Pass as well. Uh, it's a free update anyway. You don't have to you don't have to pay for this. There is a DLC. It's like five bucks. And uh, proceeds of that go towards charity. So, yeah, very, very cool dev. You don't want it spin again. Hades Gungeon. Yeah, it's it's that style of game. Well, don't go buy it yet. You might get lucky. You might win a copy. I have two to give away. We're doing one now and then one in an hour's time. Hello, Ms. Queeb. Welcome. Miss, I gotta put your name in the, uh... <laughs> not allowed to win. Same goes for my mods, too, actually. <laughs> Probably be... Uh, a, a good sign if we did that. Alright, I'm gonna give it 10 seconds. Just type something in chat if you would like a chance to win a copy. All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Let's do that again. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, slurpy eye. <laughs> Congratulations. Ah, oh, boy. I am going to DM you through Twitch. Give me a sec here. Wow. Yeah, we'll be fixing that. That won't happen again after tonight. So, all right. Key is sent to you, my friend. Congrats. Uh, everyone else who's interested, stick around one hour from now. We'll do another, another drawing. All right. Yeah, like, I, I really like what we're playing now, but the the main game is kind of like, just as just as good it's a completely different experience than this um it's it's pretty dope go little robot dude oh i like him a lot he's a cool dude yeah you're always better off doing full clears in game like this right like it doesn't make sense not to Oh, well, I guess going for a speed run or whatever. Or you don't like to clear is another option. You don't have to... You don't have to... Look, don't... I'm not telling you what to do. Let's go left and right before we go down. Oh no, we still have to go through this way. Goodness me, we are a clearing machine. Like, we take a little bit of damage from time to time, but... Very effective. And I think we've got some good talents to go along with that, too. Get him! No, robot, don't come back to me, go! I, um, I think in, in my lifetime, I've been pretty lucky with winning. There was that, um, that DNP guy, uh, the Harris Heller, uh, computer where I took the cash, paid off my car. That was dope. 
Um, I think I won a CD-ROM drive back when they first came out. That was kind of the most exciting thing ever. Uh, there was a coloring competition for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I think I won a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle VHS. And some coins? Or were the coins something else? No, the coins were like a fast food thing. Like little medallions, you know? Didn't have the best turtle on it. It was um, so I can't remember. It was it was a it was a very convoluted way of doing things. You know how like places like newspapers and you know supermarkets they get involved in stuff for giveaways and whatever. It was kind of like that, and uh, you had to you had to get the the cardboard thing, and it had little pockets in the cardboard, and then you got the coins from somewhere else. Maybe it was like a newspaper thing. You, you collected, you cut something out of the newspaper and then you took it somewhere. And then, yeah. All right. Magic Glyph has extended duration. Don't care. Upon entering Guardian's Rage. Cooldowns are reset. Don't care. Gain three gemstones. Not great for talent, but I'll take it. Steam needs to pay me? No, Steam aren't going to pay me. <laughs> if I ever did do a sponsor deal, like this is a, I guess this is a, a promotion, right? Like more of a, a social thing. It's not really um, paid. I didn't get anything in return, except the three keys that I'm giving away anyway. Um... But it, it, you know, it helps promote the stream and it's good to build that relationship with Evolve and, and all the rest. Um, but I, if I ever took a sponsored deal, I'd let you guys know. I think, well, I legally have to anyway, but you, you know what I'm saying. All right. You told her she was a scammer? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Um, let's upgrade my little dude. Jesus Christ. Fat Cat Freddy. Thank you very much. 20 gifted subs. Holy mackerel. That's very kind. Very nice of you. Thank you. Bam. <laughs> Bam indeed. Is this my little guy? That's him. Noita, Nova Drift, Alt F4, Gunfire, Reborn, and most likely this one. Uh, they're very, very nice of you. Thank you so much. Very sleepy after D&D, &D, 2 a.m. Get the hell out of here. But I appreciate you stopping by nonetheless. Thank you, Fat Cat. Cheers, man. See you again. Enjoy your sleep. Uh, I'll be on tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, that was worth. That was definitely worth it. How much is... Don't care about that. Two melee companions. And they're identical, no less. Right, let's see what else we can buy. 514. No! What is that? Pyrotechnics. Throw an explosive that inflicts fire damage. That's a relic. No, 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 no. I'm not paying 500 bucks for a relic. You must be off your head. I almost bought that. Jesus. Increase maximum health. Reroll. What does a reroll cost me? Two.
I'll leave it up to chat. Do we reroll? Do we buy the health? Or do we keep our cash and save it for next time? Reroll, reroll. All right. All right, we 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 rolling. Uh what we get? Increased movement speed. Well, oh, I like the sound of that actually. Increased movement speed it is. Done. Don't we already have increased movement speed? What's this one here? These all cost, at level 2, they cost 5 gems to upgrade. Poison I don't want level 3. Chance to stun, increased chance. Okay, so we, that'll be good. Increased damage on a throwing axe, and then obviously higher chance. Yeah, where's the, where's the speed thing? Maybe that was the last run? I don't know. Oh, that is actually quite fast. I like it. Um, oh, I do have a Nexus store I completely forgot about. Do I have a button for Nexus? I do. So if you do want to purchase a game, um, if you use that link... Uh, I get a, a small cut of the sale, and it's usually the same price as it is on Steam. Um, so you're buying Steam keys from a third-party site. Um, but the way they do it... Oh, this is a boss! Oh, shit. Give me a sec. He's chugging a potion. I don't like him. He's uh, quite tough. Whoa. Um, yeah, so how that company works, Nexus. Um, Steam's cut. Uh, when they put a game on the store. This isn't going so well. It's 30%, right? Nexus take 15 and they give the other 15 to the creator. I'm dead. I did die. I died. I'm very dead. All right. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to go grab a drink and I'll be right back. Won't be long. Cursor, please. Okay. Um, next character. You just say the short one, and I'm down. Lucy. Uh, very strong. Um, but now that I've got a little bit of a better feel for the game again, let's see how we go. So we can't even do 
Oh, uh, we can't even do hard mode yet until we beat <laughs> normal. <laughs> All right, what's my little side thing? 30 kill counter, mm, that might be tough. We didn't unlock anything yet, right? Sames, all sames. Oh, that's right. She's got a, a blink. That's amazing. Got it. Yeah, the kill counter is going to be tough. I would like to upgrade that blink ASAP. Hopefully more charges or whatever. I'm enjoying this a lot, Bin. Um, it's not easy, which I like. Um, you know, when, when a game gets difficult, I can appreciate that. So she sh starts shooting sidewinders, I think, when you're standing still, if I'm not mistaken. And what's her alternate? Guardian's Rage. No, not that. Rapid Combustion. Ignite the air around Lucy, causing an explosion of scorching fire. Is that it? Or Protective Ward? No, it's this thing. De no, that's... Wait. Oh, maybe it was the decoy, but I was standing still. Got it. How easy did you find the original game? Um, so I'm, I've only beaten, I think, chapter two. And I, I sort of went away from the, um, the game for a while, but I think, I, I think this is actually going to pull me back to the main game more than anything else. Stronger sidewinders give increased damage. Yeah, go on. The great, the great thing with the main game is that you can... The, the longer you play, the easier it is, right? Because not only are you getting better at it, uh, but you're also investing in those passive upgrades that really make a difference. Um, and now there's a whole pet thing as well with, like, animals you can find and then train. And then if you treat them right... Um, they give you passive buffs for the whole family. It's dope. It's dope. Like, it's awesome. I wonder if you can increase the the vacuum factor on the uh, the whirlwind there. We need explosive shots though. That's got to happen again, I think. God, could you imagine penetrating and poison again? Same as we had before with this rate of fire. Oh, sickening. I don't know if you can get poison on fireballs, though. Did we leave a chest behind? I think we did. Ah, that's wrong button. That's the decoy. 
Oh, yes, we did. Please be good. It's not good. I guess that's the, the risk reward, right? Favor fortunes the greedy? Sometimes. So if I was using a controller here, um, your dodging actually becomes much, much better. Um, yeah, I have to figure out why it's not working. Uh, because I can only dodge in cardinal and then uh, diagonals with keyboard. All right, extra ward. Protective ward has an extra orb protecting Lucy. Elusive presence, increased dodge chance. Yeah, we're going to be taking a lot of damage. Alright, my rage is at max. The ward thing is nullify one hit. How do I... Is it always active? Oh, that's the little thing flying around me? Does it regrow? Every eight seconds. Okay. Then in that case, I take it back. I will. That'll be, uh, if it's an option again, we'll, we'll grab it. That's a giant hole in the ground. That's a trap. If I remember correctly, right? Like it's a tentacle monster or something in there? I don't know. Alright, we ain't we ain't leaving yet. Isn't it? Something in there. It's very cute. Alright, let's get some health ups. I don't think I can do anything in here, right? Nah. We out. Two gems. I did spend one frivolously. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so this one we might be able to do because it's a, a literally reached the room. Trouble is, there'll be a lot of shit following us. So, let's see how we go here. And then we can always go back once it's complete. Lovely. Uh, that ain't it. Thirty-eight seconds. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. So what did we get? As a reward for that. Just XP then, I guess. Hmm. Uh, spirit couple. Successful primary attacks build up more rage. 
three degrees. Primary attack launches three fireballs, but sidewinders are reduced. That's three split in like a... They split and, and go straight ahead, I think. No, it's a split shot. Okay, well, even still. It's more damage. It's a shame we took that Sidewinder damage up, but still, we didn't have much of a choice around that anyway. Alright, so we've got bonus XP. Big bucks for, for doing that fast. Um, yeah, now we can clear it our leisure. Seems to be doing quite a quite more damage, especially up close. Dash is broken? Dash is brilliant. Critical roll. Critical hit chance. Increased primary attack damage. Cyclones cost less. Oh, and they get a little bit brighter too? Okay. This is already a little bit silly here. We don't even have any Divine Graces yet, huh? I'd like, uh, if I could, definitely Poison. And I'd like also the, um, the Piercing. Again, I don't know if they'll be available to us. That sounds a little bit OP to me. And then, uh, the little, the little robot. Another little robot. I liked him. Look at the noises she's making. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, this game also has uh, a great voice cast, especially the narrator. Sounds familiar. I can't place where I've heard his, his voice before. What are you? Brooch of Insanity. Greatly increases critical hit chance and damage at the cost of a slow, constant drain of health. Sounds wonderful. When would we use that? Boss fight? Ugh. Just what we need. Extra health loss. Is this the start? I think this is the start. Is it the start? No, this is something else. Why were there snakes in there? No, that is the start. Yeah, I don't think I've seen... It said Sidewinders are reduced, but I don't think I've seen any since getting this. Oh, wait. There goes some. I take back said comment.
Lovely. Extra cash. I do like that the traps hurt everyone. Because it makes them viable as defense as well as offense. Alright, so we're on level 2. I think the next one is the shop, if I'm correct. Butcher Sloan, where does that put you? That's central time? Mountain time? I don't know. Time zones and me. We're certainly not good friends. Your boy getting sleepy? I'll tell you my secret. I'm always sleepy. Texas, right on. Mountain time. There you go. There's another one. And that's it. Through we go. I was wrong. Defeat all enemies on this floor. That I can do. So it's three shops. Three shops, three bosses. Right? What makes up the 13 floors? What movie was that? It was a, a movie called 13 Floors. And I think... It was either Jim Carrey or John Cusack? Or the third the 13th floor, maybe? Wow, you are fast. Oh no. Increased XP gain. Oh shit, here we go. Ah shit. That was worth. Where are these? Here we go. Sidewinders give increased damage. God damn it. Take movement speed here. Ah, next altar in 50 seconds. I got it. I understand now. Ton of cash. Not exactly what I wanted, though. There it is. That's it? What are you? Evade bars generate faster. Thank you. That's awesome. Very happy to have that.
A face tank, it's the only way to fly. Alright, we just have to hunt down whatever enemies are remaining now. Shouldn't be many left. Oh, we did it. No, no, no. We did it. We did it. We don't even need to search anymore. It is done. Ah, oh, that's what gave us the... Yeah, that's what gave us the Divine Grace. All right, so I have six gems and... I don't know how much cash. What you got, lady? Oh. Call Pashmalu. No. No. Drops a gemstone. So spend a hundred, get a gemstone. Activating obelisks will also heal you. So I say we reroll this at the cost of two gemstones. Can't do it. Well, maybe. Evading has a chance to instantly refill an empty evade bar. Okay, we do that. Go back over here. We buy, we reroll for two. It's expensive. Increased damage. Damages enemies on contact. <clears throat> As in what? Me? Yeah, Bramble Wrappings, that kind of makes sense. I mean, why not? Since I'm, since I'm a tank now. I read it wrong? What did I read wrong? I read level three? No, 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 I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always, see that's, that's it. You come to Channel McQueeb, always looking to the future. Providing I don't die and the game soft locks again. God, how would you be? I mean, literally shooting fireballs at you to destroy pots that you put there yourself. I'd be pissed. Activate a shrine. So here's what I don't understand. This up the top, right? What is this supposed to represent? The green and then the two yellow ones. What, what does that mean? Su survive waves? Oh, I guess, okay, if that's a bar, I activate it and you have to survive. I don't know. Whatever. Our damage isn't super good and we have no supplemental damage either. Oh my goodness, could you imagine if we could strafe? That would be a skill worth having. That's kind of dope. Do that again. You can't. I need another one. It's down here. Time left. Oh, that's a shrine. Which one is it? Oh, nice. Perfect for us. Yep. So it's just, we just have to wait out the timer here. Oh boy. That ain't good. 
Four seconds. Oh, we lost. We lost a lot of health there. Okay, that's why. That's why we didn't. We were unsuccessful on that secondary task. Yeah, definitely could have handled that one a little bit better. If I didn't go wandering in in search of those explosive, uh, I don't know what to call them. Yeah, we would have done better without that. There we go. I should really look at those secondary objectives ahead of time. I think that's it. Oh, something was damaging me there. Ferocious enemies. I like this one. Not when they're right at my door, though. Ah, shit. I think when we level, that does damage to enemies. It's like a, a blast that radiates outwards from you. Death Blossom. Sidewinders launch in all directions when using primary attacks. Does that increase the chance for Sidewinders? Increases primary attack speed, but reduces Sidewinders. Oh, we might as well do that. Kevin Cyclone of... Sorry, I missed that last one. They look like the same speed to me, not gonna lie. Where's my... Where's my talents? Primary attack speed, but reduces Sidewinders. Oh, it tells you in the picture. It's like, no Sidewinder, no Sidewinder. Okay, after you wind up a little bit, that's better. But that's the same, I think. Hmm. Difficult level not to take damage on... I'm being frank. Please don't kill me. You killed me. Son of a... Mmm. That meteor stunned me. We have a long way to go before we unlock this stuff too. Damn. Just one more run. Let's choose somebody else this time. Um, John? John, Joey, or Mark? Mark was good, right? Is he like a monk style character? Let's try it. You'd think, given that they were all in, this, in the same family, or they're all family members, Mark automatically targets his enemies from a short distance and dashes towards them when he attacks. The target is singled out by an indicator below it. Oh, okay. Okay. It's just me holding down the mouse button forever. Wrong way. I think this guy is very easy to get combos with.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very easy to get combos with. So maybe our income and or XP will be greatly increased as a result. We shall see. The Naruto run? Let's clear out over to the left first. Wow. Purge. Mark has increased the critical hit chance against enemies suffering from negative effects. Okay. Deal more damage as Mark's Atman's Barrier grows in strength. Landing critical hits charges Mark's Atman's Barrier significantly more. I say we take... We take Purge here because once we have uh, some kind of elemental attack, that'll increase our... our success ratio. Oh shit, what do we got to do? Clear. Damn it, I forgot I was on the timer again. I did it. I did that to myself. God damn it. Alright, so we're going to do that, clear and come back maybe? Problem with this one is that you have to actually clear to progress anyway. Very easy to do combos though, so great. If we can speed up his attack, screw the timer. I'm not going to bother with it. It's fine. Whoa! Rage globes provide more rage. Purge again. Assault blitz increases the range of Mark's primary attack, allowing him to dash further towards his enemies. I mean... What's not to like there? Signal generator, thank you very much for your sub. Four months. All right, that's the second one cleared. What do we got, 15 seconds? Not gonna happen. Well, I guess with that attitude, it definitely won't. Five gifted subs, dude. Oh, to say thank you. Rage generates faster. You can now access the portal room. Is that three level ups in one? That can't be right. Well, maybe, right? Linda launches an explosive crescendo when Mark activates Scourging Whip. Scourging Whip has an increased stun duration. Lucy summons a cyclone during Swirling Staff. Which one's which here? Maybe the cyclone? No, check it. We've got four gems. Uh, we've leveled up like three times. 
Cyclone during staff, probably the best option there. Oh, that's cute. Wait, maybe I should have gone for the other one. It doesn't matter. They're the same. Yeah, we seem, but like earning wise, we're doing very well. Kill or ferocious, no problem. Please don't give me a timer. Don't take a hit, which is maybe a little bit tough with this guy. We will see. No, I take it back. It's not difficult at all. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Look at that. So that one earned us a gem. I think the rewards for each of those are like... More on the lower end, but still... Oh, no, we did get a... Um, uh, what do they call it? A divine doobly-doo. How exhausted would you... No, I'm sorry. You're a human. Just relax. Eight gems on the second floor. Come on. Oh! Okay. Okay. Uh, small problem. Right, I should be using that more often because that brings everyone in. I'm sorry, what is that? Ring of regeneration. Gain constant health regen, but health globes. That's not a permanent upgrade. No, 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 no. It's timed. The next five hits are ignored. Um, we'll hang on to that. We'll save that for when it counts. Obelisk of Fortune is luck increase. So luck equals money, obviously. Swirling Staff has a shorter cooldown time. The timer on the region thing? If it's time, it's long. Oh, interesting. Let's take faster speed. No, you may be right. And it is quite the slow region. Interesting. Why wouldn't that be a... Um... Why wouldn't that be a talent instead, if that's the case? It is a talent. But it, I, th I think the talent doesn't have a downside like this does. Oh, that's right. We do do increased doo-doo. We do do increased damage to... Afflicted targets as well, whatever that means, right? Do a final check here. I think we're I think we're good. Oh We're nowhere near good. What am I talking about? Ah, there's the difference. Okay, so the that move does damage in all directions. Whereas um The other one is targeted towards the front, I believe. 
It does no damage or a lot less. And, um... It stuns them as well. Get a both. Yep. Should be move using my moves more often than... I think I left something behind in the other spikes. Oh, okay. Don't do that. Uh, all right. I think we've cleared now. Goodness me. We have tw 12 gems. That's 12 with a T. Awesome. This is the one that almost killed me last time, right? Needed that. Perfect timing. Activate the other shrine in the area, right? Survive waves. Am I doing this right? Do I need to activate another shrine? Oh my god! Oh my god. Let's try that again. Was that at Bundaberg Ginger Beer? It is, yes. Yeah. What time is it? It is midnight. You know what that means, folks. Perfect timing. I meant to... See, that's it. When you die there, it's hooked up for you. So... Ladies and gentlemen, final drawing for the evening, if you would like a chance to win a copy of Children of Morta, type the number seven in chat. Thanks. A copy of the game provided by Evolve PR and 11-Bit Studios. There we go. Everybody enter. Hello, Bone Needle. Didn't see you hiding there. Alright, we're going to give it another 32 seconds from now. I, I'm just going to guess. Cuts, it's totally fine. If we, uh, if we land on you, we will re-roll. You got your house loan on this spin? <laughs> What's up, Chaos? Good to see you too. All right. 
10 seconds. And here we go. Good luck, everybody. Roland. Such a satisfying noise, isn't it? One, two was taken. Congratulations. You are the winner of the final copy of Children of Morta. I'm going to DM you real quick. All right. Congratulations. Thanks, everyone, for uh, participating. But we ain't going anywhere. I'm going to keep playing this because it's just a really cool game. I dig it. Uh, I definitely want to try Mark again. That was spicy. My house loan. <laughs> Complete the main objective while having half or more of your maximum health health points. So here's a question. Does it have to be completed? The word complete is, is a single moment, right? You get what I'm saying. I'm sure it means if you drop below 50, you, you lose. All right, we're gonna we're gonna definitely take better that uh, alternate this one. We're gonna we're gonna do something with that this time. God, I have thirteen gems last time. Jeez, Louise. It's okay to go b below t half. Oh, okay, cool. I wish I could pick up the um, the rage meter stuff as heals. That would be nice. All right, maximum health, primary attack damage, vault deals more damage. Oh, I really use vault. I'll take primary attack damage. Kill stuff quicker, bigger numbers, better. We'll see what uh, what our max. Uh, what do you call it? A max combo can be. That's a lot of cash. Did I have to update my computer recently? Or anyone in chat, our components still hard to get. Uh, graphics cards are becoming slightly easier to get. I think a lot of manufacturers are using systems now like Qs. Best Buy opened up with some Founders Edition 3080s today, which are incredibly rare. They went out real quick, obviously. Um, GameStop has started selling graphics cards now. The last thing that I bought was my CPU, which is a 5950X. Uh, I was on a wait list. When did I get that? Only like in March, I think. Not that long ago. Um, early March or, or end of February, something like that. Um, and I, I, I put my order in, in the first half an hour on, on pre-order day, so... Uh, 
Um, so I don't know about CPUs, but graphics cards are starting, starting to get a little bit easier to get. Critical hit chance. Gain a shield that protects you from a certain amount of damage. Oh no, that's temporary. Critical chance. Absolutely. Yes, please. You've got a new build planned, but the GPU and CPU are still pretty... Yeah. Yeah. Get the link again to buy the game... Through, oh, through the Nick Nexus store? It was there, right? I think it was there. I'm pretty sure I set it up with Children of Morta. Yeah, if you buy it from that... Well, check the price on Steam first, just to make sure it's the same price. I'd hate for you to pay more than than you had to. But um, yeah, if you buy it through that link, I get a small, a small cut of it. I like I like this character. I like it a lot. It's it's very different, and that's what that's what I think I like about it. It's kind of like uh... oh, it just feels good to use. Get him. Well, we're at 11. Nah, it's so hard to maintain unless you're surrounded. But even then, that's when it gets tough as well. You gotta be really careful. Okay, we did it. I completely forgot about that task, by the way. <laughs> Oh, it was on sale recently? Ah, okay. Alright, what do we got? All whip upgrades. Leaves a pool of energy that damages enemies. Inflicts fire damage, burning enemies over time. Increased damage as enemies grow in number. They all actually sound pretty good. Because I have a tendency to not, um, to not bounce around too much. Like I'm, I'm killing one and then moving on to the next. At least that's what I think I'm doing. I think we go for this one. Signal, signal agrees. Yeah. Sounds good, right? just tilt my fan down here it's a little bit a little bit cool untouchable 15 kills find and reach the portal room all right we can do this that's nine Did he just hit me? <laughs> God damn it. Back up to nine. I shouldn't even have to think too hard about this one. This will I think this will just happen on its own. Well, maybe not. Uh, 
back up to eight. 12. So if you, he's he's got two jumps, right? Or two dashes, two hops. Sorry, give me one moment. Um, and if you activate the second one whilst you're airborne, that's when you get that sort of, uh, that landing attack. It's kind of dope. 13. Two more. Alright, we're not going over the spikes. Ah, shit. <laughs> no way. Back down to zero. Are you kidding me? Well, if it wasn't for the skelly, would have made it. Skeleton. There we go. Big pile of them. Yeah, more damage the more of them there are. Seems to be functioning as planned. Let's activate this. What happens here? Oh, jeez. Not really great for close enemies, though. Clearing massive, like, swaths of enemies? Yes. But that one guy seemed to avoid every single hit. Anoita update on Steam? Oh, that wouldn't surprise me. They're, they'll be fixing a lot of uh, minor stuff now. Tweaking it. Mark deals more damage while Guardian's Rage is active. That's no, fine. Restore health. That's the one I was talking about. We're going to go for more primary damage. Hell yeah. Considerable amount of ex extra damage, actually. We're going to be loaded. If, again, if, if we make it that far. It just says primary damage, right? So my, my secondary should stuff shouldn't be improved. Oh, that's annoying. Bummer. I just got an achievement. Trickster. I wonder if that's an achievement from the game proper or from the add-on. The update. If there's a dark enemy protection, I might take that as well. I know that's one I've avoided a couple of times, even tonight. Might be a good idea. Did we go the right way? We did not. Uh, thank you very much to whoever just bought Children of Morta. Appreciate it, and thank you for the tip. It came up as a different name, interestingly. So, I mean, that makes sense. Of course, it'd be a different system. Different username. They don't know what your Steam or your Twitch name is.
Spikes are rather annoying. Fancy spikes being annoying in video games. So weird. Yeah, I think after tonight, I'd be I'd happily go back to playing the uh, the main story. Because I still have a ton of stuff to do there. I think between that and Isaac, that might that might secure the stream for the next couple of months, huh? Alright, we're through. Round three, again, every same floor I keep dying on. <laughs> oh, stop it. I like his little moves though. He's got he's got slick moves. It looks like he knows what he's doing. So that secondary attack that we just did is very short range. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh crap, this ain't good. Every time, dude. Shit, I'm so screwed. <sighs> I wonder if it's possible to get some kind of vampirism uh, heal on attack move. Oh, well, that'll do. How many altars? Oh, it's gonna be one more. There it is. Real bad. Real, real bad. Help. <laughs> Help. That was ridiculously tough. Activating Guardian's Rage restores a portion of Mark's health. Tempted to even take that. Light Whip. Scourging Whip has a shorter cooldown time. Yeah, I'll take that. What? Oh, it's still you. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> and I have to kill him too. I swear, I swear, come on. Okay. Totally fine. And we ain't done yet. Wow, single heavy targets are tough. Especially when you got the crap falling from the ceiling, too. How 
How does one claim the game? Nexus put it on your Steam. No, no, no. They'll they'll send you either a link um, in your email, and you uh, in Steam on the bottom left hand corner there's an option. It says uh, re redeem game or something, redeem code, whatever, and then you just punch it in there. Primary attack damage increases with the number of gemstones possessed. Kind of perfect. Well, kind of. What's up, Frederick? How you doing, man? And this is just one mode. This particular mode we're playing, Frederick, coming out in a couple of days. Um, it's a free update uh, if you have the base game. Uh, to play this mode, though, you need to get up to the first boss on your first uh, run through. So that, that might take you a little bit. Maybe 45 minutes or so. Um, you don't have to beat it, though. You just have to get up to it. My theory is that it's um, to ensure that the player knows what they're kind of doing before they jump into this more difficult mode. So. Okay, let's see what's for sale. Uh, what you got? Chance to fire projectiles in different directions upon being hit. that the irony of spending gems to upgrade something that gives me more damage with more gems add a game yes that one hang on let me let me double check here Yep, add a game, and then the, the middle option that pops up, it says, um, activate a product on Steam. Does progression carry over from main mode or are skills unlocked? Yeah, everything's unlocked when you use this, so it's probably better that you have played the first bit um, first. The, the other mode. No, we're going we're gonna to roll here. Come on, be good. Stun enemies you come into contact with as you evade. Wait, what? Sure, whatever. Stun enemies you come into contact with as you evade. That's an evade, right? What do you got? We gambling? Let's gamble. What the f is that thing? Divine Relic, create an area that slows. Okay. I'm out. I got taken for everything I had. Okay. Dodge is a random chance. Thank you, Atlas Pronto. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that means, to, like, to evade... Like, I, I get the concept. It just feels... Okay, I'm, I meant to completely miss that guy, by the way.
Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Reach a 30 target modifier multiplier. That m may be tough on this stage. Quite high up. Get out of there. Oh, shit. Uh. Huh. I tell you what, after this run. Oh, did that just do the thing? After this run, I'm going to switch back to the other, uh, to the old version. But I'm going to. Since I'm on a, like a slightly different branch, I might switch back to main branch. So I have to re-download the game. Oh, this is horrible. This is tough for someone that started so strong. It's like, oh, how the mighty have. Ah, stop doing that. Wow. And I died again. Dang, that's tough. That's hard as hell. <laughs> and then tomorrow I'll figure out how to get my, uh, my controller working with it as well. That'd be pretty dope. But I definitely want to, I want to dive back in. I want to see. All right, give me one second here. Uh, properties manage. Uh, betas. None. It's got to re-download the game. No sweat. Downloading pretty quick. Um, I might have to add the scene again. I don't know if it's going to pick up the same executable. We'll see. There it is. A real strange power arc. Do you think he gets stronger or weaker over time? Hopefully my save file is still there. Hey. I've only put seven and a half or what, almost eight hours into this. Yeah, we got a lot, to, a lot to do then, I think. Uh, one moment. Tons to unlock. Oh my God. Increase more drop from enemies. This is the one I've been working on. So this one, now that I've unlocked it, I'm going to go full into this. This gives us more of which is your money earned. And I love games with this feature, right? Um, obelisk duration. I mean, that's a pretty significant increase for that. No, I will. Oh, XP gain. Yeah, go on. Okay. Couldn't help myself. Is there anything else to do? Hashmal the cat, when he deigned to make an appearance, was the perfect playmate for Linda and Kevin. Is that the... the pets are out here, right? Animal shelter. So the cat's the only one that I've got unlocked at the moment, or is it the doggo? So I've fed, I think I've fed this, this guy. Do you have to select one or are they all active? Look. 
Luck is good. More money. Movement speed. XP gain. Dodge chance. All very good. Let's go with the wolf. I th I'm pretty sure I unlocked him. Because you have to find them first, I'm pretty sure. Well, there's a deer right there. What do we get for him? Lunch. Okay, fine. It It is a really nice looking game. There. Yeah, it absolutely is. Look at that little puppy at the front of the door. Oh my god. Alright, let's go down. This is where we see what I've actually done. Nothing. Next to nothing. Um, Silk Caverns. That's the zone I'm in at the moment. So this is the spider part. This is where you start. Done that, obviously. Okay, so we're going here. Who should we use? Oh, that's a really tough question. You've got fatigue. Max health minus 18%. All right. Lucy, let's go. Same. I did exactly the same thing, Pronto. Yeah. The boosts are active. Pe oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So let's have a look at what we've got unlocked here. Not much. I got, I'll, I got so much to do. I have a skill point, I think, right? Youthful optimism. Use Lucy's ability to look past the darkness rubs off on the entire family. All members enter dungeons with one gemstone. Okay. Decoy. Eh. Guardian's rage. I don't know why I spent a point there. Take that. Oh, I've already done that? I think I've already done that. Okay. Protective ward. Need three skill points to upgrade that. Don't care about that. Okay. So we can see that the bonuses we're getting here. Critical damage. Movement speed. Slight increase. Luck is improved. Oh, that's right. And we get bonuses from other family members. It's it's deep game. It's it's very deep, actually. All right. Let's go. Yeah, see, she's not anywhere near as strong. Or that, that dash, at least, is nowhere near as effective as uh, the other game mode. Because they were fully, uh, fully beefed up. So every eight seconds, you say, the, the little shields come back? The little, uh, what were they called? How do you unlock the endless mode? Uh, so that's not available yet. That's in an update coming. I assume you mean the mode that we were playing before, right? That's in an update coming in four days. Three? Four-ish days. Cyclone moves directly forward. Oh, it's a rune. You can. That's right. You can modify your secondary stuff. Got it. Streamer only right now, more or less. Yeah. Was contacted by um, someone working for Evolve, which is a PR company. Yeah, my dash is nowhere near as significant. All right, still doing good. Um, and the, sorry, I didn't even mention the update's free. Doing all right. 
I wish we could collect the health pots. If we, even if we don't need them, like maybe transform them into something else. Uh, this is really good when she's got the sidewinders going off. They're really effective. They do a lot more damage, I think, than the, the primary shot. It definitely moves them back a little bit, the Cyclone. It's not too bad. Lucy's hit stun is crucial. Butchers, yeah, we were just talking about that. It's not available yet. So that'll be in a free update in a couple of days. Um, and once, once you have the update, you still have to get up to the spider boss. You don't have to beat it. You just have to get up to it and then it'll be available the next time you uh, exit out. Uh, hello? Oh, he was behind that. That was weird. Um, yeah, if you start playing tonight, you'll, you'll get up to that boss tonight. Oh, there's my invulnerability gone. That is really important, huh? It's probably worth spending another couple of points on once we level up a couple more times. Uh, just for a third, third level of that. Do we have two enemies here? Just the one guy? Particularly nasty one? Oh yeah, look at that cash. There we go. More, more of I say. Damage is reduced. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it definitely plays differently, huh? I'm excited to see more of this because I didn't I haven't given it enough time. I think I'm only like was say eight hours in ish i don't know why i didn't stick with it that's so weird it's like it's my kind of game exit but we get a High combo kill counters rewards more money. Okay. Oh, right on. Cool, cool, cool. What kind of game is it? Action roguelike, my friend. What's this for? What did that do? Hmm.
And I die as the main. Fast travel to skip walking back. Oh. Okay. I can't go back to the previous level though, right? These archers are probably my biggest problem right now. Which is kind of weird to say because they're not that even... They're not even that bad. Very easy to kill. What is that? Common animal treat. There you go. Now we can feed our doggo. Make him happy. Hey, Xpil, how you doing? It's going very well. Um, this is a different game mode to what we started the night with. Just wanted to get a, a run or two in here because, uh, I don't know, it got me back into the game. Obelisk of Spirit, what do you do? I didn't even read it. Rage regenerates faster. Oh, okay. He's such a badass. <laughs> oh, keep it up. This is fine. A little bit cheesy. Could have actually maybe even exploited that if I mis-aimed or was standing in another location. Is an item? Yes. Who could have possessed such a powerful object? The next two hits are ignored. It's actually pretty sick for a relic. Content warning for the faint of heart. Some of the, yeah, some of the animations, I, I think I know what you're talking about. you. Are they real enemies or just... Oh, jeez. Wow. Now I'll stand over here and you can't do shit. Little bit cheesy, I know. I didn't make the game, don't yell at me. I wonder if I can get a poison shot here. I need some help because we're we don't have the strongest build going here. Oh, hello. Guten Abend, meine Damen and Herren.
<laughs> Later, Butcher. Take it easy. And uh, thanks again for your support tonight, man. We will definitely open that chest, though. I have four gems right now. So gems work a little bit differently here as well. It's not like the shop that we were at before. No, that would be way overpowered if that were true. It's more cash. I'm actually okay with that. Oh, it did drop a relic too, I think. A rune. Cyclone cancels what? Yeah, okay. Sick. We got that again. Yeah, the upgrades are handled uh, sort of a different... Uh, categorically speaking, it'd be different. Skill point, but we don't. Doesn't work the same here. No, 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 no. Okay. So if I did want to get an extra protective ward, it cost me three. So we've got to wait for the next level to get that. Um, and we don't unlock any of the tier three stuff until level eight. So it takes, uh, it takes a lot longer. Did he just... Did he go away? What's up, Dave? How you doing? There, another gem. I think we've got another gem. So we don't go that way just yet. Oh, maybe we do. I don't know. The runes run out. Aha. Uh -huh. I think we did actually want to go over the other way. Wait for it. The shopkeep said he would like to offer a discount for his rescue, but they have not. Doing very well. Thanks for uh, thanks for asking. All right, what you got? Inflict fire damage upon performing evade. See, anything to do with evade just seems so weird to me. Not a bad item though. Increased primary attack damage. Gotta take it. We need damage. Right, so runes are temporary. That, I forgot. Can't afford two, right? Nah, unless we find another two, come back. Probably unlikely. Well, at least I get my sidewinders back now. So that's kind of, you know, blessing in disguise, I guess.
Oh boy. Here we go again. The ads are a problem here because I don't think they're temporary. I think they're treated as actual straight up enemies. Oh. Never mind. Him dead now. Is that grinding noise I'm hearing? Is that the game? What what would I describe it as? Like mechanic? Mechanical noise almost? I I'm doesn't quite sound like music. I think I took damage for the first time. Fella. It's nice when they uh they kinda come to you, huh? Makes you want to play Diablo? I don't, I don't blame you. Diablo is amazing. It's a big ass map, huh? Nope. Nope. Bad. Real, real bad. Wrong button. I gotta go looking for a couple of health pots left behind, I think. Ugh. Death Blossom. Sidewinders launch in all directions. Oh, cute. I like it. Yeah, you can see it running out. I get it. I get it now. Runes are very temporary. The great thing with this game mode is that when you die, though, you take all of that stuff. Everything you've just... That's probably the boss. Jeez, Louise. Uh, you take everything that you've you've gained back well sorry you take more of back you take money back i think that's about it actually that's why you can have evade damage as well all right that's about as strong as i'm gonna get huh oh hold up Event room. The origin of the threat of corruption was what occupied most of Grandma's time lately. When pressed, Mountain God was the only answer Grandma gave. Good work, Grandma. What am I doing? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about it. You wouldn't understand. Recording a TikTok. All right, let's see what's through door number one. Huh? Oh, I think they're random spawns, if I'm not mistaken.
I think they it's either timed or something, yeah. Or maybe it's because of him? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Got it. Wave-based combat. Should have maybe waited. Lucky, lucky dodge. Oh my god. Get him out of there. Good. So I think that is like a major pickup. Rad, a melee companion that inflicts lightning damage. Brilliant. Sounds good to me. Oh, you're, you're awesome. Melee companion. That's music to my ears. Okay, so clearly this is... Not the exit then. Where? Shop. We're broke. Divine Relic. Wait, why didn't I pick that up? Teleport room near shop. I didn't activate it. Or maybe I did, hang on. Ah! Got it, thank you. Uh, we can't trade gems, right? Like, it's all... No. No, it's definitely a very different different style. Much slower. Let's build up that rage. Got a couple of pots here, might as well grab them. Oh, the little robot's making noise too? Ah, oh, he's cute. Level three. This is going to be very, very tough, I think. Oh, I don't know how much damage this little robot's doing. Oh, he's all right. Yeah, no arguments here. That was pretty cool. Deal a massive amount of damage. To yourself and any nearby enemies. Um, hmm. Oh no, he's doing just fine. Oh, 
Oh yeah, he's great. Like him a lot. Accelerated core, increased primary attack speed at the cost of removing sidewinders. Um, might as well. I don't think we can drop it voluntarily, right? Pretty sure not. Like you have to use it up, but you can very easily use it up. Cyclone explodes on destruction. Yeah, might as well. I guess there's some strategy to be had there as well. Like wait until... You know, you need them or something. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, oh, no, not again. Oh, that's a big bad. That's like a uber champion. I hate that attack so much. Rocket barrage. Yes, please. Accelerated is still there, so we can go and pick that up again if we lose it. Yeah, Rocket Barrage is nice. Summoners in a circle. Surely nothing would come from it. A new challenger appeared. What does that mean? Oh, these guys are annoying. Hey, another skill point. So, we could go now, like I said before, for a third one of these. Wouldn't be a bad idea. What's this? Decoy. Eh, I'm not a big fan. Guardian's Rage. Longer duration. What do we unlock down this tree? Increases the chance and damage that of the side winders that burst forth. Guardian's Rage Mode, the damage and range of Lucy's Ray. This is all related. Chance for a Burning Meteor when in Guardian's Rage. Incendiary sh Shot. It's nice. But again, we won't get all of that until level 8. So we're a long way away from that. Let's go with that. Oh! You've got to spend 8 points to get to the next level. Now I understand. Sorry, not... We are level 8 now. So we can get Auxiliary Embers and Incendiary Shot. Both of those are kind of dope. Let's clear down first. I got a feeling that left a little bit of space down here. One Spooter. You don't get anything for clearing, by the way. I'm just doing that because that's... It's in my nature. What's up, Basher? How you doing? The game is called... Children of Morta. Actually, you just reminded me. I need to change my title. There we go. Alright, now we've got six gems. I may spend one here. A 
Oh boy. An axe occasionally thrown? Hell yes, please. And now we've got our three spinning uh, three hits that we can take as well. I don't know if that's the, the max level there or what. Health globes and rage globes are more effective. Okay. Shouldn't look, look a gift horse, I guess. Another one. Oh boy. Down to four. Divine Relic. A temporary shield that absorbs all damage received explodes when expired. Feeling the damage back. Back to them, right? Not, not, not back to me. Convert the large cyclone into several smaller ones. Alright, that's pretty cool. You gotta take your time, huh? damage there. Again, I could just walk behind this barrier. Enemies can't walk through it. Oops. Grandma, how did you beat me down here? A creature of inanimate stone given life by the power of the mountain god and presented to the mother of beasts. Grandma, do you have something for me? Maybe like an they item? Knew. They needed to get past it to get to Aenea Dyer's halls. The ultimate gamer, right? About the connection between the god and the corruption. Doing great, Grandma. Oh, right. Poison. Tons of cash. Got 3,300 cash. Um, and I only had about 300 when I came down here the first time, I think. So it looks like the axes that we throw have a chance to pierce, or they all pierce, maybe? Oh, split direction. Possibly should have saved that obelisk. Mm.
Yeah, that's a 10-4. Should have done that. I like the combo system. It rewards skillful play. And I think it I think it increases in like usefulness the better you get get at progressing like that. Sure, what that is. Cast two magical stones to spiral outward from you and damage enemies. Okay. Sounds pretty, sounds pretty good. Didn't mean to do that. Well, now I've got to use it. I told you, I keep clicking shit that I shouldn't be. Increased maximum health? Wrong button. There we go, that's a permanent upgrade. herself, Anea Dyer created a place for the rejected and misplaced, an oasis of compassion and safety in the infinite twilight. Is this the end? No! No, 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 we're nowhere near the end. Anyone that's played this can confirm, but I'm pretty sure that this is only the sort of the end of the first dungeon, technically. But that's just a little bit of lore. That's not that's not anything else there. Boss time and I'm I feel like I'm supremely underwhelming. Damaged enemies burn in fire, yes. Increased dodge chance, oh man. You get considerably more money from these pots. And I don't think that's just income. Unless I unlocked the ability to, like, find gold in them. I can't remember. Alright, see how quickly I die here. I can't even remember the boss. Hello, doggo. Oh, thanks. It's not going to help me. I can't take it with me. Give me something better. I may not have even fought this boss before. I love how, as it zooms out, it becomes high res. 
beasts and goddess of That's anguish. cool. A protector, being of stone, made living. Oh, hello. That's not cool. Okay. I I could have easily avoided whatever's the hell's going on here. Ah! Did I die? I got him. I think I died and I got him. Do I have an extra life? <laughs> I get down to 3 HP, no way, okay. Glorious, look at that. Finally free of the corruption's hold, Anaya Dyer gazed upon the Bergson. I think now we unlock the second dungeon. Weary with exhaustion. Because there's plenty of room down in that basement of ours. Why does it say 30 now? What said 30? Oh, the health? You, you, if you get down to like bare, bare minimum, it takes you up a little bit. 40 minute run, not bad. His grandma, she beat me back up, of course. Wait, that's not... The spirit's words took life, forming images to reveal what was hidden from the Bergsons. Oh, we got plenty to do yet. And us, spirits three, knelt before the mountain god U to swear fealty. Our wills were set on peace. His were set on testing ours. And as the test drew to a close, we discovered our wretched ending. As the mountain god exacted vengeance on the children of Rhea Dana and tainted Rhea with the corruption. So that's the big bad, huh? Thus was another truth revealed to the Bergson, but many more were hidden still. Questions were abundant in the Bergson's minds. If the mountain god was the source of the corruption, what had made him wreak such havoc? How had no one known about him before? They needed to find the next spirit, as maybe they had an answer to some of their questions. More truths awaited them in the land of the winds. Lucy's skill has improved a lot. Yeah, duh. Um, so wait, we still haven't unlocked the the new one yet, the free DLC one, right? That's must come later in the story. It, unless it's this person here. No. Nope. No, I don't think we have. Um. Okay. 
So I was going to unlock... Oh, it's 4,700. Aye. Need money. Money fuels everything. So I'm not going to... I'm not actually going to spend anything. Let's go to the workshop real quick. No, that's money as well. These are your passive upgrades, by the way. Armor, strength, speed, etc. What else did I want to check? Oh yeah, we can feed the dog, right? Normal. So you have to constantly keep feeding. Got it. Okay, so you have to farm this stuff. I understand. You have to keep each animal, and it's your choice which animal you keep fed with whatever item. So it's sort of fluctuating up and down the uh, the bonuses you get from that. Oh well, we'll have to go without then, because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start saving. Oh, by the way, I changed. I don't know if you noticed, but the closed captioning is now capturing not only my voice, but it's capturing the game as well, like the system audio. So if I had a, if I had a conversation with somebody on Discord or whatever, it would capture that. Uh, both both sides. F for the animals. They don't need to eat. They're fine. If we had a snake, though. Yeah, you damn well make sure that thing's fed. More story. Nai Raha. Spirit of fealty awaited the Bergsons somewhere in Berahat. Next portal, take the warriors there. He said fealty, but it was fertility. Do they mean the same thing? So we've done that one now. That dungeon is done. We don't want to go back in there. We want to go over to Arahat. Once a lively place of merchants, it was now only a back alley of broken promises and death. Deep in the city of thieves, the path to Anai Raha's halls awaited. Uh, it's not horrible, uh, Deep Nian. But uh, it's not the most amazing thing in the world. This one's by Google. Uh, it's The other one's Microsoft. The default one that's in OBS is Microsoft. Fealty is loyalty. Right. But the text said fertility. That's that's what I'm getting at. Okay, so we haven't even unlocked two of the, the big hammer bro. And then... Uh, uh, what was her name? Like Araya or something? All right. We could take Lucy down again, but I think I'd like to switch to... She's got Corruption Fatigue. We can cure for two yellow stones, which... Ah, it's only 7%. It's clear which character I favor, right? It's an Easter egg. It could also be a typo. Um, I know the devs, uh, it's an international dev, and there may be a language uh, difference there, language barrier. The sun? Yeah. Yeah, yep. Kevin. Kevin went out to get some milk one day, never came home. And, uh, the, I don't know, family seems to get, be getting along just fine, so... Ah, shit. Freezing shot. Hell yes. Unfortunately, only a rune, but that's okay. I so want that build we had going before. 
So that's the thing. You, you can't really get anywhere near as strong in these runs. At least not yet. Alright, so what did we upgrade before? Level 9. Family Lookout. Family members gain explosive crescendo runes for their various abilities. Okay. Don't want that. Absolute focus. While in Guardian's Rage? Nope. Decreases the stamina Linda must consume whilst moving and shooting? Maybe. Ah, in a rhythm. You want three points for that. Of course you do. All right, looks like we're not buying anything today. That's fine. The floating yellow icon. He was a champion. Elite, whatever you want to call it. There's like three grades. There's green, yellow, and red. I haven't even unlocked her third move. <laughs> Go Bink, what's going on? New game? Uh, old game, revisited. Hope you're doing well, my dude. This is called Children of Morta. It's very good. I played it for around eight hours and then stopped and I don't know why. Um, we were demoing a uh, an early look at a, an expansion coming out in a few days. Sand swept across the land, scraping against the stone of a monument built not from devotion, but blood. And we do sand. no damage. I know. Top it stood Anairaha, with the lost ruler Bushra waiting. All these unusual names I need to pronounce. Anaya Raha. That one's easy. Keep in mind, we may need to farm uh, the first episode before coming here if we are this weak. Like, we may need to get stronger. Does it need to be used? Yes, cooldown. Yep. Yeah, it's like six seconds. And I think... Did I put a point into that? No, that's increased damage. So cooldown is not a factor with this one, I don't think. Um, but that's another thing as well, playing the different family members, you do eventually unlock upgrades for, like, the family as a collective, which is pretty cool. Uh, so for example, here, right, the family that moves together stays together increases the, the entire family's movement speed. And I think I got that for free just from leveling up to five or whatever that second row is right there. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, that hurt. Pay attention, Queeb. Yeah, compared to our poison builds, this ain't nothing.
So that's one thing that does kind of... Something I have to learn is the... Uh, every time you activate uh, a chest or a shrine or an obelisk or whatever, uh, there's an animation involved with that. Like you have to... You have to be really careful. You got to make sure you're not being surrounded at that moment. This is just like, uh, what was the desert world in Diablo 2 and Diablo 3? Is it Kurast? No, that was the second one in D2, right? The Kurast docks. With the little blow dart MFers. What the hell? Give me the cash. Alright, so that's the way we're probably going. This is only a two... Oh, that's right, but it's the first part. A two-stage... Uh, oh, good. Two of them. Actually very challenging. Explosive crescendo will stun enemies. All right. Kind of useful. Oh, we had a choice. Not yet. That's the exit. Oh, I get it. So once the heart appears... Uh, sorry, the little diamond up here. That's when you're good to sort of... Uh, teleport back. There we go. What you got? Breathe fire in a cone in front of you. Hmm. So that's two points now we can put into something. I think three was the next one we wanted though, right? One, two, three. That gets us to 14, which... A sister's care. Linda appears to perform her harmonic slam and stun any nearby enemies when a family member receives heavy damage. Three minute cooldown. But passive. So that applies for every character moving forward. So that probably means that Kevin will have to be used at some point. I'm backing myself into a corner here. God, how do I get that pierce again? That's what I want to know. Like, is that only in relic form in this one? Or can we get it as a, as a talent or a trait, rather? Uh, what do you call them? Uh, divine... Divine thing. One held a gift. Two hid ferocious creatures. It was the lady or the tiger or the Bergson. Pick a number between one and three, folks. Thank you, bunch of rocks. Yes, I will forget very basic skills that I have. No, we won't. Go Bink, dude. 
Yeah, that wasn't it. Oh, I can shoot over your barriers? That's right. Look at that, though. We're $14 richer because of you guys. It would be nice to have an actual item, though. Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe the damage is really low. Maybe we're going to have to take Kevin out. We'll, we'll do that next. We'll take him on an adventure. We'll go through the first dungeon again. Um, repeat visits actually are helpful, by the way. Because you can unlock extra lore and... Damaged enemies burn in fire. Now we're talking. Um, you can unlock extra lore and upgrades and... Even potentially story unlocks, I think, by doing so. Oh, look at him burn. Oh, the poor little snakes, though. Not quite as effective as poison, but... It's not only on the primary, it's everything that gets damaged. That's cool. We've got an additional XP up as well, so we should be earning quite a lot as we go along here. That hits me every time. What are we dealing with there? Quicksand with something in the middle. Okay. I don't think they're secret rooms, right? Did it again. I think everything you, you see is what you get kind of deal. Nope, been there. Where are we going? You think there is, but you don't know the game? I like it. There's our fire. That oh, looked kind of weird. Was that 25 second cooldown? I like the fire damage. It's not much, but it'll do. Maybe upgrading that uh, a secondary shot wouldn't be a bad idea. At least the frequency of it, maybe. Prevent the summoning. Break the circle, they said. It'll be A fun, they said. Ah, shit. That's why they want to break the circle, huh? Okay, fire damage, good. Fire damage, amazing. Thank you. Maybe better not to break the circle, then. These guys are annoying enough as it is. Double burning? Three points. Okay, so we can spend that. So that increases the damage of that move. That's the standing still thing. Maybe that's the go right there. Because I do find myself moving and shooting a lot.
Level four. Oh, I gotta spend another point to unlock this one. Kinda handy. I like it. Is the item unlimited use yet now? I, I I don't know. This is the first time I've had the, the little fire thing. Yeah, it's on cooldown as well because it's this type of item. If it was a it if it was a single use, it would be over here. Be good. Be good. Be good. Or be something. And there's an enemy in there. Okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Ow. Is that dog food? Sorry. An animal treat. Oops. So I wonder how long the dog treats last then? Is it just one run? Vortex shot pulls enemies towards the center of the area of effect. <laughs> Sounds alright. Ow. Oh, jeez. That ain't good. Might be over for us soon. Where have I not been? That's where it came from. Yeah, any damage over time combined with your primary shot is just really good. Oh, shit. It's really good. When tormenting their own citizens was not... It did help, yeah. Yeah, I could already tell, actually. Because I kept stopping previously. The time to queue. Turn to cooler entertainment. No, that's not nice. No, no, no. Strange not on my watch. From another unwilling entertainer, but the melody failed to hide the sound of her sizzling flesh. Uh, g'day. What's up, folks? Hope you're having a great day. 
Me? Ah, oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Having been chained and tortured, it was no surprise the poor creature would immediately flee from her liberators. It might be better if I played some music for this hero. Thank you, kind stranger. So you were an unwilling participant too? Lucky. Yeah, I wonder what causes those dark monsters to spawn. Create shards of ice that explode to freeze around enemies. Some had invested this object with great power. Bramble Grace, we've seen that before. A Brandle, Bramble Rappens. So that first item is a is an active item. The second one we got is a is a passive. What do we leave over here? Oh, that's a, a it's a rune, I think. Is that me or you doing that? I think it might be me. Ah, oh, crap. No, that's definitely hurting them, I think. Cool. I like the, um, I like the ice one. It's random. But that helped us a lot, I think. Evade bars recharge faster. We like that a lot. That's going to help as well. Since we're not doing a lot of damage right now. Loot the corpse? What corpse? <laughs> I didn't even see it. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my god, she's leveling up like no... No business. Nobody's business. Fast. Leveling up fast. Alright, so I kind of have to spend one more point, which means... Wait, how many points do I have to get that unlocked? What am I? What what level am I? Can I see that somewhere? One more. Oh jeez. Oh, that ain't good. You ain't dead. <sighs> Ta 
Tons of cash. Cash I like. Um, because, especially in runs where I don't think we're going to be successful. Um, it's always good for farming. So this, this does work really well with mouse and keyboard. Um, but I think with... Uh, controller, it's going to be a little bit maybe, uh, I don't know, more relaxing. Just less stress on my wrists, you know? Throw a trap that stuns enemies who enter it. No, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep my current ones, thanks. She could roll them. Nice. Hey, Jock. Welcome. Thank you very much. Good to have you on a stream, my friend. One of my six-hour runs, yes. There's been, there's been many hours of Noita played. Twice. Total playtime in Noita. 1200? Let me check that for you. 1240. What is this? Adam chronicles his journey out to investigate the bandits in Parahat. Died from fire. I had nothing to do with it. Did anything drop there? Hmm. Met with Nevea to gather any intel she had on the recent surge of bandit activity in Arat. This unrelenting sun claws at the nape of my neck. I was never meant for this weather. I must make quick work here. Margaret is out assisting the people of the forests. So that leaves John and Ben alone at the house. Who knows what trouble those boys are getting into. Field report, Adam. Snitch. Oh, <laughs> gotta stop doing that. Freaking traps, dude. All right, so we're heading up and Actually, straight up from here and then back and left. My god. I deserve everything that's coming at me. That's a boss there. I'm not ready for a boss. God, I'm hardly alive. Help! Sun baked the captive. This isn't the boss. To death with such it's the boss. 
I've done horrible things. stone without equal he thanked the bergson and asked to be visited if any we just unlocked a new character i think mending runes for a price mending runes oh it's an npc upon receiving a fatal blow revive at a modest portion of maximum health Talk about timing. Wow. Final stage right now. No more updates. There's one coming in three days. Jock, yeah. That's what that's what we were previewing tonight. It's a little bit a little bit of the update content. I got uh, got a little bit of early access to it. I got I got no heals. There's no heals left on the map. I'm in danger. Ah. <laughs> oh, this will go well. Wait, what did I go all the way back for? Oh my god, I went back through all the traps. <laughs> Come on, Queeb. Almost, almost did it again. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'll wait. I'll wait right here. Let's get back that 26 health. I'm going to need it. Does the update add a lot? Um, I am not actually sure whether I can specify what it adds to the game. Um, but in terms of uh, the new game mode we were playing, it's significant. Release date? Four days, three days, four days, something like that. Okay. Why did that cost me four? Was it four? I thought it was three. Did I only have three? Oh. Oh, well, it's okay. It healed quite a lot just by itself, so that's cool. Thank goodness. Customers are always right, are they? All right, let's give this a shot. Here we go. Oh, I'm scared. Wait, I can just walk over pots? I don't need to... I can just walk over pots. Good dog. The manipulator we fought the this thing before! I have no idea how it worked. Of rats with fingers sharp as daggers and a soul lacking its humanity. Oh. Hmm. 
You stay away. Ah, dodged. Damn it. Oh, I think I got you though. Maybe. It's that move that gets me every time. But, never mind. Not dead, dead. Just a little bit dead. Jeez, that sucks, that move. Give me that. Truth was, no one chooses the life. Got him. First time through the dungeon. The crystal was calling the hero back. Through a path, opened anew from the sacred city of Anaira. Ah, uh, I don't think I'll be streaming too much longer. It's 2 a.m. I got several things to do tomorrow before some stuff. strange weariness as home beckoned. Hell yeah, dungeon cleared. Found a rare animal treat, a journal, something else. The chamber groaned and trembled, darkness replacing light. Above, the family waited to eat, comfort replacing vigilance. Sup, dudes? Oh, that ain't good. Snatched. Gone. Dread replacing happiness. One body was taken, but two souls were in need of rescue. Later, Chuck. Take it easy. Compulsion upgrade something? What was the compulsion upgrade? What was that? The Bergson's rage gain rate. Oh, right. Got it. Because no character had rage prior to that moment when we unlocked it. Uh, no, I've got to go with Porter, right? Increases morph drops. Yeah. More money, more better. And then XP on top of that, maybe? Or just save up for the next level of that and just keep doing that. But we're not going to get much stronger if we keep doing that either. Strength. Health. Crit chance.
Okay. Oh, look at that. There you go. Animal shelter unlocked and compulsion upgrade is unlocked. Why take mother and our unborn sibling? It is going to be a reckoning when we catch up. You know, you know who the right man for the job is? We're not going to go on that adventure, but we're going to take Kevin on a, a bit of a... Uh, yeah, she was pregnant, yeah. Um, we're going to take Kevin on a, a light romp through an earlier stage of the game. It's Children of Morta is the name of the game. New boss equals mother. Wrong game. Uh, hold up. I don't have... My dungeons have been locked off. Story is progressing first, it seems. Next level's a bit of a run. Oh, here we go. Whoever goes, I will jump in. The forest was dense and full of dangers, but finding Mary was the most important thing now. See, it's odd how it's kind of locked me into this because if it's um, if it's a difficult zone, which I have a feeling it might be, I'm not ready for it. I mean, Kevin's nowhere near ready for it, let's be honest. Oh my god, she needs... How do I cure? R? Cure Linda's fatigue. Does it cost one stone? Nah. Let's let's let her rest for a while. Come on, Kevin. Let's see if I can make a man out of you yet. What's up, Jim Ace? Good to see you, man. Solomon, hello. Somewhere out there. Surrounded by the darkness, Mary and her unborn child lay in need. May you say something spoilery? Oh yeah, that's fine. Go for it. Well, unless other people don't want to know. So he's definitely a rogue class. Alright. Kevin dies. Kevin Dice? I can't remember why I d disliked him, but boy oh boy I disliked him for some reason. Oh, it's a literal run. Gluttonous and ravenous, it seized the lesser creature and took it into itself. Oh, the oh for it's a literal run. The new Isaac boss actually um, similar to this. Not, not quite. You're getting chased and you have to go through the... Oh, it's... it's gated. Okay. They're just heals. Is a gemstone, huh? Okay, it's a challenge. You gotta die, my friend. You are pissing me off. God damn. 
Yeah, what was I saying about Kevin? Yeah. Feelings haven't changed. Get the tree. Kevin instructs the rest of the family on where the weakest parts of the enemy are, increasing the family's critical damage. And that's why Kevin's level 5. Right there. Ultimate Frenzy. Sounds good. What's up, Slick Banana? How you doing? Uh, this game, if you're curious, it's called Children of Morta. Yeah, glass cannon, no kidding, huh? Very little defense. Even his moveset doesn't knock enemies back, so it's kind of like... You have to be right up in there. It's this guy over here, isn't it? Oh, there's one. The forest grew quiet again, but the respite from danger was only temporary. Had a feeling you'd say that. Video games, right? It's almost like he won't advance unless we're... We reach a certain point. Might as well take my time here. Your name's Kevin? Sorry, dude. <laughs> Get your mum on the phone for me. I'll, I'll have a word. We'll fix that right up. Welcome, by the way. Good to have you. Requires a gemstone. Seems like just a random drop after a certain period of time. There it is. Love it. Kill waves until obtain gemstone. Insert gemstone into trap. Activate trap three times. Boss dies. Kill boss three times. Game is over. Yeah, he is leveling quite a lot, huh? Of course, because he's only level 5.
Uh, and if that's the case, these enemies seem fairly well balanced, I suppose. It's like it takes the level into consideration. The land of the scarred. Rhea Dana's shrine, the catalyst to all that had happened, was no doubt nearby. Half Native American and half Hispanic. Kevin, I like it. There they were. Creature roar, but flight was no Frack, that's very kind of you to say. Line. Welcome. The Bergson now stood their ground, ready to take action. Wind it up, Kevin. He's got a rail gun. How is that fair? Oh, he's... Yeah, he does have a wind-up attack. I forgot about that. Ow, that hit me. I can't dodge it. No iframes? Uh, where do I put the last one? Three each? I should be constantly firing her. Huh? Hide behind the obelisk. Oh. Oh. That's cool. Thank you for coming over here. That makes life easier when you do that. Get the other one up there. That's it, huh? Now we fight. No, you're going to stay up there. Okay, that's cool too. Ah, oh, Kevin. That's my favorite character. I've always loved Kevin. Oh, I see one. Ah, shoot. Uh, but I don't have anywhere to put them now. Ah, shit. Not good, Kevin. Dead. Maybe attack the guy. Hmm. I'll try that again. Thank God for checkpoints. Oh. Oh, I do have my knives attack too. I gotta remember that. Jeez. It's like a pretty amazing attack.
Hold up. I can just attack the guy. Here, I was thinking it was just a, one of those weird... You know, challenge room boss type things. No. Maybe that helps me do more damage to him. I uh, will figure it out. Oops, wrong side. One more. Oh, I got one. what skill points we got now I got four oh boy family members gain Kevin's Abilities rune. Kevin abilities runes. Kevin's abilities. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's alright. Keep getting hit by that goddamn thing. Gotta go, buddy. Not like this. Come on! Jeez. I'm so screwed. Nah. Beacons of board clears. Oh. Oh, so I don't need to. Oh, okay. 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 So I should just be attacking because they heal as well. Attack, collect. Switch in and out. Control adds. Okay. What if we just face roll here?
Okay. Okay. Big wind up, dude. Wow, twice, huh? Okay, it's starting to become a little bit clearer now. Get rid of that purple shit, please. better thank you bunch of rocks that was good information easy first try yeah no problem right oh it's not dead i'm super shocked Disbelief was not a strong enough word, and denial was not a luxury they could afford. They knew all too well that Grandma Margaret was gone. Oh, Grandma gave her life to save us. She's badass. Grandma, yeah, she got moves. A hero may fade, but they never disappear. Their actions left to echo through an eternity. It's nice music too. Carried by those lives they touched. No one could believe that Grandma Margaret had passed away. The Bergsons shed their tears, hearts filled with sorrow. Ben and John were shocked to their core. The letter left by their mother spoke of a terrible secret. The one way to stop the corruption. The only way, she claimed, was to sacrifice their soon-to-be-born child to U, the god of Mount Morta. Jesus. It was unthinkable. Perhaps their mother had made a mistake, had somehow misinterpreted the signs and ciphers. Yeah, trust me. John thought they should keep the letter a secret. No mother is going to make that mistake. <laughs> That's heavy, huh? Sometimes, just as you are getting ready to leave, someone arrives, and you stay for them forever. Who is it? Is it the... the... Please say yes. I forget her name. It starts with an A, I think. Hmm? 
Sheila's ring drew Ben's attention. The same ring that Sheila had always said belonged to her firstborn. This man was their son? Ben could not stop staring into Joey's eyes. Oh, it's Joey. The eyes that he had gotten from Sheila. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> when Joey informed his father of the many <laughs> yes. years since his mother's passing, Ben's heart felt... Oh, oh that was good. <laughs> In that single moment, with the single gulp he drank... The memory of all the years with her passed through his mind. Regret became his companion then. No, a, a pen. Thank you. Was the last character added? So we don't. We haven't met. We're gonna. We're gonna fight through more stuff first. Was dead, but their son was here. Wow, we got a the montage of days lost mixed with dreams of days to come. He felt as if he was there when Joey had been born, when he had grown it's up a and become hammer the made from he was now. Ben the core of a dying star. Lost his wife, but that was in the past. And this was the future. A future they had to build now, together. <laughs> he gets it. Oh, it's good. E <laughs> Cool music, man. Achievement unlocked. Family reborn. The fruit lay before them, gathered out of gratitude. There was nothing but a few footprints to betray who may have left it there. Joey is now available in character selection. He has found a new family and with it, a new reason. So here, when you're at this, this section, you can't really do a lot, right? You select one thing and then... Uh, actually, scratch that. You select one thing and then you can switch between them. Uh, like so. Hey, Kinjara, 16 months. Thank you very much for the resub, my friend. Uh, we're broke. We need to go make some cash. Let's go make some cash. Although they were still more Wait, the bear? Their grandma, not not the same bear. To continue their mission. Hold up. No way. Two more spirits of Rhea needed to be freed and brought to the safety of their home. John thought they should be able to find the temple that housed Anairaha, the spirit of the winds, somewhere in the city of Barahat. Maybe he could shed some more light on the nature of the corruption and the mountain god. I don't know why they're not saying anything about this thing just standing there. They're like, eh. Guards the door now. Okay, so it's not a fish. It's not a kitten, deer, owl and friends. And it's not the wolf. Where did you see the bear? It might just be a forest creature, right? Random one, not the same one we rescued. All of that would be pretty sick. The 
The one that brought the fruits. Got it. I didn't put that together. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. Gotta be. A colossal monument built to the ruler of Berahat and the voice of Ane Raha, Bushra herself. So, a Joey, level zero with the giant hammer. Let's go. Decadence. I wonder if the game scales based on your. It's either going to scale or we'll die very, very quickly. He doesn't have any moves. He's got... Yeah. Well, I think we're going to die very, very quickly. There's a ton of HP, though. And he's going to level so fast. Now, oh, don't stand in front of that. All right. What are we getting first? Joey evades with such force that when... That enemies are damaged where he lands. Vengeance. Receiving damage provokes Joey, significantly increasing the damage of his next primary attack. That sounds good. You like Hammer Man already? Oh, I like his charge. That's dope. Now him a fast boy. What's this? It is nothing. I think the scorpions are new this round. He's getting levels like nothing else. Ah, oh, he's taking a lot of damage though. That is that is a fact. Maybe we should give him another move then, huh? Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Alright, level four. What's this? Joey's bravery and the Fearlessness boosts the family's will, increasing the entire family's rage gain rate. Okay. And at level 8, I'll clear a path. Joey appears when his family members are surrounded by a horde of enemies to perform his whirlwind three-minute cooldown. Guardian's Rage. Smite. Is that your secondary skill? It is. So we will be getting that one next. Oh! That's right, he doesn't jump. And memory. They needed to place foot upon stone. If silence reigned, they could continue on. But if alarms were to ring, they had to begin anew. It's a sequence trap. Okay, so. Okay, so it's two. Not that. Oh, the blobs, they hurt. Actually, I think dark enemies in general hurt a lot. And try that again. Two. Uh, where'd I go after that? Four, right? Try one. Two, one. Three, four. A.
Damaged enemies burn and fire. Well, well. Oh! Dog food. Strong Bastion vibes? I'm not so sure about that. I mean, it has excellent narration. Oh yeah, he does plenty of damage. I'd love to be able to walk forward a little bit whilst I'm swinging because that first swing takes a bit of a wind up there. This is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Joey smashes the ground with heavy force damaging enemies in front of him. Yes. Yes. I wonder if we can get a combo going. What the hell is that thing? Flames orbit you, damaging enemies. Alright. I am the god of fire. So you can just walk into pots to smash them, that's dope. Dashing now OP. Temporary aura that damages enemies. Okay. Very temporary. Down we go. He's doing all right for his first outing, honestly. He's not doing bad at all. Health is going down real fast, though. Guardian's Rage. Do we care about the Rage moves? Probably less so. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have... Well, the, the passives that we have are minor still at the moment. They're not that strong. See this dude walking down the street? Holy shit. Run the other way. And definitely don't hurt his bear.
What's all this? Two people, one old and one young, surely did not belong in the clearing of windswept sand. The older was nervous, looked at his surroundings as if for the first time, but an air of wisdom still lingered around him. They were on the run and in search of one more able-bodied than themselves, for a monstrous and savage creature had begun to dwell near the observatory. Let me guess. Steam. It was perhaps more powerful than a horse, but it was nowhere near as reliable. Quite the commentary there. The skies, he said. The skies hold the secrets of the gods. Steam. It was perhaps more powerful than a horse. Right. But it was nowhere near as reliable. Guess I'm coming back there then. Pain. It hurts. Ow. Come on, what you got? It's a rune? Hammer inflict attacks inflict lightning damage. Yeah, okay. If we weren't thematic enough. Down. Down we go. Dashing and then Hmm. Doesn't really same. Exactly the same. I mean it will a dash should apply fire, I think. This must be the yeah. Okay. The creature that now threatened the hero. I've seen him before. Focused inferno of hatred and malice. Welcome. With the observatory now safe from the belligerent beast, the two were once again free to observe the heavens. Oh, it's a telescope. Okay. Of course. Smite shakes the ground, slowing enemies hit. As as it probably should. That's it? That's it. Okay. Not like extra payment or something? That's what I thought. Yeah. Fire breath. We know that one.
I'd like that permanently left on. That's kind of cool. The, the the lightning it's it's pretty good ah stop doing that oh no Let's go. Still with energies. Stun enemies when you evade. Now we got a combo. That's going to work well. We we slide into them, we stun them, set them on fire and then we can wind up and bash them. Probably not the easiest thing to pull off on a on a keyboard, but we'll get there. This guy is ridiculously strong. Kevin, you should be inspired. Oh. The old man explained a continuation his secrets and even tomorrow's legends can be found written in a different location. Stars. Unfortunately, an eyeglass broken in yesterday's haste would not allow vision into tomorrow's unknown. The sage looked upon the Berkson for help. The nearby mines could luckily supply the materials needed to craft a new lens. All the young boy would need was someone to watch over him while he gathered them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Can you at least wait for me to smash some pots, dude? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, next one of these. Uh, wait. Joey appears when his family members are surrounded, right? So that'll be that'll be really helpful for other characters now. When low on health, Joey's will to survive motivates him even more, increasing his movement speed and damage. So it's almost like he's a berserker, right? Like meant to take damage consistently. Timmy, no! Where did, where'd he go? You little shit. Oh god. What are you doing? He didn't run. He's like, nah, I've got this. Just need a chunk of glass. Are you good now? Okay. Well, I'm not. Look at that. Look at that. Timmy, you happy? Jesus. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to him when I'm good and ready. He can wait. You little shit. Just... 
I wonder if we'll be coming back here. Maybe we'll just get the reward straight from him. Maybe we're meant to go this way. Never mind. I have two evasions? Correct, yep, yep. Uh, hello, teamies, by the way. Good to see you, man. Oh, yeah, I've already, <laughs> I've already cleared this area. We've got kind of like a really good setup here. Genuinely good melee builds. Oh, right on, dude. I do the same. I do the same. I watch, uh, I sometimes just like a little bit of, uh, anonymity. the hell? Wow, he was going in for the lunge there. Did you see that? You get the fuck... Oh. With the eyeglass replaced. Nice. The two turned back to the heavens. Tomorrow's legend... Resting beyond the horizon, while yesterday's secrets hid nearby. Not the best item. You can come up with something a little bit better for my trouble. Um, very clever. Okay. We're about to level up again. Uh, where are we going now? Back. God, that was our first stop. Yeah, these guys are... Yeah, they're not too bad, I guess. Ah. Four a.m. All right, goats, no problem. It's uh, it's three where I am, and my butt's asleep, so I'll probably be heading that way myself. Oh, nice. More of me. Such animal treats is great. I should really give everything I have to the... Who gives luck? Cat? I think it's the cat. I 
Uh, you know, the dodges are, like, really good for... It's it's called an evade, but... Alright. What do we got? Reduce the cooldown of all abilities. Doesn't speed up your attack, unfortunately. Reroll runes, health glow, blood omen. Nearby enemies take damage when you are attacked. Ah, uh, this is the guy we rescued. He repairs runes. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think I'll ever do that, to be honest. Seems like a little bit of a waste, in my opinion. Uh, I will take the damaging attackers thing. That's kind of cool. It's kind of perfect for us. And this guy can take a beating, like... Like he was born for it. Mend runes if you have Mjol Mjolnir. All oh, right, the thunder one. Okay. All right, I see you. Throw a trap. I haven't been having much luck with my other one. Are they maybe they're specific types? F to switch. No, we're gonna keep the electricity one. So I don't think I can if I switch this. Oh wait, there we go. Yeah. It's on E now, I think. So now we have... I'll just throw them down whenever. This guy's a beast. Test the trap. We'll test it on the boss. Or whatever we need. This has four levels. Alright, we're, we're on the last level here. Not exactly sure how that works. Something more sinister will be appearing soon. I'm really hurt. Like, really bad. Oh, God. Yeah, they're a gonna... Greater enemy, but also a greater reward. Real bad. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know about this now. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. Ah. Shit, where are you going? Oh! Dead? Dead. Well, he's not invincible after all. Good attempt, though.
Oh, it's just loaded with story, this game. The flying creature they were seeing in the sky filled Lucy with excitement. Could it be a dragon? No. However, <laughs> what do you think? Heard Mark say that there were no dragons left on Rhea, and he told Lucy the same. Well. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. Is that It wasn't hard for Uncle yes! to guess that this strange woman was from the far north. Oh, awesome. The Bergsons were curious to know her reason for making such a long and arduous trip down south. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that the dragon. God, the there's a lot of dying in this game, huh? Knew about fighting the corruption surprised the family and stirred more than a little respect for her. Yet more surprising was the fact that the wife of a tribe chief would take unto herself to journey south and give aid to the Bergsons. New character, Gobink, yep. Yeah, I was looking forward to this one because I played her tonight. Excellent moveset. Really cool. Apon joining in with the birds Apon. would help them in their quest. Moreover, Mark could learn a thing or two Not a mage. From her in the art of combat. Hell yeah. Um, let's have a look. No, the cat is critical chance. This is luck. We have three commons and one rare. So we just keep you well fed. What's a rare get us? There you go, Max. Very excited. Wait, you're very excited, but I'm only seeing two stars here. I'll go. Anyway, that'll give us even more money. On, and Morph is fueling everything right now, so we kind of need it. Sixty-two seventy-five. All right, next time. Yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go full on into that. I think that's probably for the best. All right, I am gonna wind it up for the evening. Hello, lazy Hazel. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm about to go to bed. Uh, I've had a great evening. What a, what a cool game. I'm really glad I rediscovered it. And it's all thanks to uh, uh, Evolve hitting me up with that, that early access look at it. The, the update. Which will be out in, what, four days? Three days? Pretty dope. Uh, folks, thank you so much. Let's see if anyone is on this evening. This is why I need to be following more people, because there's... I got I got nobody on. All right. Well, we're just going to call it then. Folks, thank you so much. Uh, I've had a great night. I will see you tomorrow. I will be on a... like a Q&A thing. I don't know how it's going to work. I'll tweet it out tomorrow when it happens. Um, that's it. Have a great night. Goodbye, all. <laughs>